And we are live on Monday. Hello, hello. Welcome on into another Monday live with the Whiskey Crusaders. I am usually Will. I'm pretty sure I am today. Yeah, last time I checked, I'm Sarah. And I'm still mad. It's all good. <laughs> joined by David and Kara, and we're also joined by Maeve. Maeve's going to talk a little bit about uh, Burns Night, which we're here to celebrate, talk about some fun scotches this evening. Before we get into too much of that, though, Matt, who do we got in the chat? Who's already with us joining us? All right. Let's see here. We got we got a huge amount. We got 77. We got Bowl Bath Bourbon. We got Brad Boots. And speaking of Brad, thank you for the Dare Gaelic uh, Tree 5. You're freaking amazing. Really appreciate that. All right. Let's see. We got Kilco. If you guys haven't checked out Kilco's channel, please do. We got Carlo Mack, Richie Z, Old Man Joe, Floydian, Cheech, uh, Rock Out Review. I'll check out Ed's, Scott Moody, Ben A, Craig F., Liberty Not Licensed, Steve A, Sugar Kitty, Jerry Black, Danny Kerber, let's see, Robotic, Zach Andrews, uh, Tom Flanagan, Jeremy Burns, Ever Fulmer, let's see here, Tim Evans, Jenna Lido, Don Holland, man, that's a ton of people, this is awesome, Matthew Parks, uh, Shane Long, and Donald Ranch, our Yoda, Adriana, hey, and there's Erica, thank you, Erica, wearing the awesome Brooke Lottie Tartan, thank you very much, appreciate that. Thrasher Z, Scotch Down Under, Energy 23, Wheels, Cohen, Trev Wilson, Ish Clifton from Bourbon Bites. You haven't checked out his, please check out his. Flipping. All right. So hopefully there's one lost cause and there's Mass and Drummer, but of course knows Jason. All right. Also, and it's just, uh, this is Shelf Turds with David and Kara. So if you guys are interested real quick, and then we're going to turn it over to Maeve and talk about Burns Night. Yay. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we're show turns and we're super super uh excited to be here with uh whiskey crusaders and mave um I, I think i we referenced it on our stream which is right before the stream we pre-gamed for our own game yes <laughs> so, uh, whiskey crusaders like right from the get-go was one of the channels that when when we bumped into it, we're like oh wow they know what they're talking about so they're way different than us <laughs> and, uh, and and it was super, super cool. And Matt reached out a bunch and he, re he reached out very early and we were like, we're not ready to live. He was very encouraging. And um, and uh, eventually we're like, well, if you have PBR and Fireball, how can we say no? And so we're <laughs> we here. Both. We've got both. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Maeve, why don't we take it away and talk about Burns Night, what it is and some Brew Claudia and let's get into it. Awesome. Thank you guys for having me. As usual, it's always so fun to join you guys. Um, but tonight we are going to talk about Burns Night. Matt, I love your Brooklady plaid that you're sporting tonight. I'm also okay. wearing some Brooklady swag. You know, you have to. I've got my, I'm actually participating in a dry January. So I will be having a brand and spirit with everyone. Um, but so I'm having my ice water and my Port Charlotte glass. Um, and I'm going to also with my Port Charlotte straw and I can get as creative as possible, but in, in my head, I'm enjoying a dram with you guys. Um, so a little bit about Robert Burns night. Um, Robert Burns is basically one of the patron saints of, um, figuratively speaking, of Scotland. Um, he's wow. a poet from the 1700s, and he really wrote about um, really Scottish life from, um, you know, farm life to class and religious distinctions um, it really, everything he wrote really just expressed the day-to-day -day lifestyle of the Scottish culture. And um, so on the 25th of January, we like to honor him. And what better way to honor Robert Burns than with raising a dram in his honor? Um, like I said, I am from the Brooklady Distillery. And I may be partial, but we are producing some really fantastic things. Um, Matt is pulling out the classic Lottie. Um, yeah. I was bringing this to one of my accounts the other day and they made a, made a really good point. Um, but it's a really great way to get into scotch um, because it's an unpeated Isla scotch whiskey. Um, you're really going to get all the essence of a Scottish whiskey without that classic peat. Um, and also the beautiful blue bottle doesn't hurt at all. Um, funny story about the blue bottle, because I often get asked why is the bottle, you know, kind of a Tiffany blue. And it is the color of the Isla water on a really sunny day. 
And I absolutely thought that that was not true until I went on a beautiful, I went to Isla on a beautiful day and um, the water is in fact that color. But back to the scotch. Um, it is a really great way to kind of dive into Isla scotch whiskey or scotch whiskey in general. Um, I'm, you know, it's, it's how I got into scotch and um, I really haven't turned back since. I'm also a big cocktail fan, so you've got scotch people. Don't don't be mad at me saying this, but it makes an awesome, you know, an awesome cocktail. Um, so it works in a, in a multitude of different ways. Um, right, <clears throat> Dave and Carol, that it is in there. The uh, Lottie Classic Lottie. You have to read to my crappy handwriting to find it, though. I mean, it's rough. <laughs> It's real rough, but if we, if we drink enough of these, I think it's going to get clearer. No. <laughs> beverage. Oh, does it make noise? Yeah, so that's why I hit you. Well, you also hit me just because you like to hit me. Yeah. And I'm constantly. Well, yeah, I mean, that just have to fun, right? <laughs> Eric, you help me read these two. Okay. Oh, make, Matt, did you create all these samples? I did. It's right here, babe. Oh, you found it? Yeah. Love that. Oh. Yeah, so I sent them tons of different things. So it should be. And if they finish them all, there's a really good whiskey to finish with if they get through all of them. <laughs> this is something they'll actually yeah. probably like. Yeah, you're definitely the guy to ask to kind of put together a collection for people to really get into it, you know? Yeah, I sent them 12, I think they'll really like. And then I think six or seven that God only knows what's going to happen with. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're in. You guys are in for a really good night. <laughs> ours, was, ours was labeled Classic Lottie. I don't know if yours was Classic Lottie. Lottie. Yeah, so say, yeah, probably Book Lottie, Classic Lottie, 50%. Or could have put 100. I don't remember. Matt, I, I wrote that stuff real quick because I had to make it to FedEx in time. So, you know. Matt, you got to start, start giving me a heads up. I'll print out labels, man. <laughs> I will. I will type them up. Give me a list. I will type them up and print them to you. Then you just have to Win. pour in label. Pour in stick, <laughs> pour in stick. Teamwork, buddy. Make a system out of it. You know. Well, he refuses to take the label. Fifty nine. Fifty percent. Oh, this is. Oh, there's so many. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> David's very nervous. I'm so overwhelmed. <laughs> this, is, this is what all of my nightmares are. It's just this. 18, 17 <laughs> samples, and I can't read any of them, and it's on a live, and I'm in my underwear. Every nightmare I've ever had is so true. May, tell us more about Burns tonight. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Um, so like I said, Robert Burns is a real pillar yeah, in yeah. the um, Scottish community, and um, he, you know, he's written so many poems that are really iconic, um, particularly one of my favorite. It's called addressed to a haggis. Um, I'm not even going to pretend like I could recite this to all of your lovely viewers in my <laughs> finest Scottish brogue because I would just look like an idiot, you know, on um, a live stream, uh, more so than I already do now. Um, so I will read you a tiny excerpt from uh, from the translation because I, like I said, I'm, I'm just not going to, you know, even put myself in, in into that, uh, that embarrassment. You powers who make mankind your care and dish them out the bill of fare. Old Scotland wants no watery stuff that splashes in small wooden dishes, but give, but, but if you wish her grateful prayer, give her a haggis. That's Robert Burns, one of his classics. Um, and, you know, like I said, he's just an iconic Scottish figure. So what better way to um, have to have a great glass of uh, scotch on the 25th of January? It's That's a right. good reason to break a dry January, but I'm, I'm so close that I'm going to hold strong. <laughs> All right. Tell her what haggis is, just in case yeah, they don't know what a beautiful thing haggis is. Is it meat? Is it meat pie? It, well, haggis is nothing that I really... Joy. It is basically um, sheep and calf bits, and mm -hmm. it's all boiled in a bag. And it's you know, it's 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 just it's interesting. It's is a it lot a hand stomach? Is it's it a punishment? Do is it like a form of torture or a punishment? No, it's a form of delicious. No, that is a, that is a delicacy. Um, I've tried it many 
good time and you know it's it's not for me but you know people seem to really enjoy it so so more, uh, more haggis for others <laughs> exactly all right this is from erica thank you very much cheers to the first round Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's awesome. <laughs> that's that medieval yeah. time. Yeah. Our church, well, I know really well that uh, Shoshel works for Brook Lottie and sent, has done a lot of cool events here with us. So thanks, Erica. We appreciate it. There's a. <laughs> Yay, time. Erica. Sheep sausage. Mmm, yum. All I, what I hear is yummy. Personally. Would it taste better with sriracha? Absolutely. Because everything tastes better with sriracha. Yes. I saw that question come through. So <laughs> that's all you can taste, right? <laughs> I saw right. Until until it burns your mouth and you're just yeah. on fire. Trying to do that, right? I saw a question pop up in the chat. Brooke Lottie, uh, none of your stuff is is chill filtered, correct? Nope. No okay. chill filtered. I, no color added. Uh, we really right. pride ourselves on the transparency. Um, just in case anyone hasn't been here before, whenever I've had the pleasure of coming on. Um, Brook Lottie is we, the transparency of the brand. Um, it's pretty astounding. I don't, actually don't have the classic Lottie in front of me, but if you do hold up a bottle, you can. Um, there's a code on the side of the bottle. We're so transparent that you can enter the code on the side of the bottle onto the website and find out everything that is in that exact bottle. Mm -hmm. When you go visit the distillery, there's nothing you can't take a picture of. Um, there's actually no real computers. Everything is done. Um, you know, the old fashioned way and um, with a lot of thought, care and respect. Um, and I will say this and I will until I'm blue in the face. But um, one of the greatest joys of working for Brook Lottie as someone here in the States and someone um, over in Isla is what they do for the community. Um, we are one of the smallest distilleries on the island, yet we employ the largest amount of people from Isla. Um, we're really into giving back to the community and really just making a foundation for people to stay on Isla. Um, and it's just how they, how Brook Lottie really invests in their employees is really something that, um, you know, I'm really honored to witness and juice speaks for itself, but I really do find how, how they really lift their employees to be something really refreshing and not something you hear every day. So I'm really proud to be a part of the Brook Lottie family. All right, we got another super chair from Donnie, the Linux cat. Sanchova, drinking my Tamdu batch strength, batch two, ready to start to where the take night takes us. Thanks, Donnie. Appreciate it. Cheers, Donnie. Yummy. Just spanks that shit. All right, so David and Kira, you, you found the uh, body classic body. What do you guys think? Oh, I, okay. Yeah. Here you go. Uh, you, all right, so we're not, <laughs> we don't know anything about Scotch, so don't be offended. That's a no. No offense. no offense ever taken. On the nose, are you getting something, anything offensive, or does it smell <laughs> pleasant? I don't know that Kira's never not gotten something offensive on the nose. <laughs> anything that she's tried. <laughs> oh, oh so I'm excited the, for you to get to the peat. What, what's the Ooh, first thing that comes to your mind? I'm scared. All right, I'm going to do it. Yep. Well, um, I was this is delicious. It kind of smells like plastic. Okay. <laughs> A cinnamon plastic. Okay. 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 All right. And some grass. Yeah, I'm getting like a emergency room vibe, like ER. Oh yeah, it's very clean. Yeah, very cleanly. The malt. Okay. Yeah. But like an emergency room where someone is about to die, <laughs> or have they already passed? <laughs> oh, we'll get to that later. I'll just Wait. say we'll get oh, to yeah, the not, later in the evening. You're not oh, there yet. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, just a little sip. A little sip. It's all it takes. Put a little on the palate. What do you think? Actually, that's really good. Right? Oh, that's awesome. Good job. Good start. Oh. First, first one is yeah. uh, you really can't okay. go wrong. Yeah, I was very nervous. <laughs> it's it's very okay. So again, I'm a total Scotch noob, right? It's very straightforward. It's mm -hmm. it's it's very it's got I don't know what you call it. One or two things that seem to, to stick out about it that I'm not quite sure what they are yet. It's, but it's not overly complex. It's actually a really nice, straightforward, smooth pour. I like it. Awesome. Glad you guys like it. And at fifty percent, it drinks much, uh, much lower. Much lower yes. than, than the fifty percent should. Agreed. Drink. Yeah, it'll sneak up on uh, you. Yes, it will. <laughs> I've had it sneak up on me. I'm surprised. <laughs> me too, Sarah. <laughs> it's, okay. I mean, it's not a bad sneak. 
Okay. It's, uh, it's not. It's, it's a pleasant sneak. <laughs> do you have a dump glass? We're going to need one. I have oh, a dump, dump glass. Because at the end, I'm going to have you, you're going to combine them all. And I want to know what you think when it's all combined at the end. Oh. We're going to rock gut review this? Yeah. Sure. Let's, let's we're going to drink all of it together at the end. We always have a dump glass. And yeah, we always don't finish your vial. Leave, you know, leave like half at least in your vials because it's way too much to drink in one night. Yeah, yeah. I, over, I over poured the first one, but to be fair, uh, we weren't really all that warmed up. Even coming back for a second or third sip on this, it's really starting to open up for me. So I'm glad I actually poured that first one a little deep. Because before this, I, all I was drinking was my favorite Scottish beer before this. <laughs> it won a blue medal that Robert Burns wrote about. <laughs> and um, it's, it's cherished in that in that area of the country. It is, um, yeah, it's uh, selected as uh, Scotland's best in 1893. There you I go. <laughs> all right, we got a super chat from our buddy Spirit of the Brother Song, which is Sam. Should all the acquaintance be forgotten in days of Auld Lang Saint? Thanks, Sam. Appreciate it. Cheers, Sam. Cheers, Sam. Cheers, Sam. Yeah. Maybe you got another whiskey we're going to. I do. So we're gonna we're gonna keep it pretty simple tonight on my end. Uh, we are going from Classic Lottie to Fort Charlotte. Ooh. Um, I'm gonna suggest so David Fort Charlotte is this named one right now after because it's heated. Okay, yeah, we'll this wait. one. I, I, if, if you guys are tasting through, listen to Matt. Matt knows obviously knows what he's talking about. Um, okay. So Fort, Fort Charlotte it. is a heavily peated expression of ours. Um, like I have mine out, and as soon as I open the canister, like the peat, it's there. Um, you know, it's got classic greenish medicine bottle look, and to me, that just is a signifier that um, you're about to have some peaty. Um, sorry, Sarah. This, this one's this one's. Oh, you know, no well, I didn't. I didn't get a bottle. Well, I didn't pour you any. But Will, I guess it's double for you. Um, I actually have with me tonight my the Isla um, expression. Um, but you know, it's a 10 year age in a glass. Distilled, the one I have right now on me is distilled in 2007, um, bottled in 2018. And this is one of my favorites, so that's why I picked this guy. Um, but sorry, my dog is crying underneath me because she's not thinking okay. anything. Um, <laughs> but. You know, oh, it, it's a classic staple. This is kind of an iconic um, ode to, you know, a really Scottish whiskey. Um, and it's it's definitely a favorite of mine. All right. Well, we're going right. to wait for one. one from Vinny. We've got, I just want to say, I've been all over the USR. This is the best vegetable channel ever. All right. <laughs> hey, they do make some beautiful things with vegetables and grains. Obviously, <laughs> this is grain. But, you know, potatoes make nice vodka. Hey. <laughs> So are, are we going to pour this mat or are we waiting till later to do that? I am willing to pour it myself now. I could care less either way. I'm drinking all of this either way because it's burns night. It's going to be amazing. I'm not drinking that. <laughs> Absolutely. You guys should celebrate as much as you can. All right. I'll take a little pour right now. I don't recommend, I David, here. You, you find this one right now. We'll wait. No, but I, I, we'll wait on that one for you guys. I would. Yeah, we're going to step I in. I would drink some of this thing. beautiful, like you said, this beautiful uh, award-winning uh, past blue ribbon, though. I think that's a good place to go. Yeah. So, it's a good <laughs> Absolutely. It's a great I want to talk that We did see Nick the Greek's chat. Kira's going to warm up a little bit more. She's not, she's feeling a little under the weather, but I agree with Nick the Greek, who allowed us to have a lot of fun at his expense in our most recent video. Um, <laughs> Kira needs a couple more drinks. We're going to get there. Well, I have an old grandpa. <laughs> Fine. Oh, this is beautiful. Work on that. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Mm. That PBR. Oh, those notes. Mm. <laughs> Got some mm. haggis in there. It's beautiful. It's in there. Now you know there'll be a haggis stuffed beer. I'm sure it'll be fantastic. Is that the only scotch over there? Port of Charlotte is also typically 50% ABV. So you know you definitely get a little bit of heat on it. Um and but it also drinks really well. I think that even our um our, our marks that have a higher ABV. Um, they still, they pack a little bit of heat, but not too much that you're not going to be able to come back for more than one dram. Agreed. <laughs> G114 is great, Scott. Anything, 
anything that's all Isla Barley, all everything done on Isla is, is done uh, correctly by me. And the one that I would be drinking tonight is all Isla all night. Um, so I do think that uh, you can really, I mean, since I'm so partial to the Isla Barley, you do get that kind of salty brine, which is mm. a favorite. So I love that one. Well, um, it's a good one. That's a great one. Um, I think that I'm like down to like my last few drops of that one. And I'm trying oh. to like, you know, savor it for a really rainy day or a really good yeah. day. <laughs> did you uh, say, maybe one did of you our, salty brine? maybe one more time, David. I'm sorry. Did you say, did you say salty brine? Did I catch oh, that right? Absolutely. There will be when we get to those. It's delicious. Yeah. You're going to find uh, definitely like seaweed, sea salt, uh, brine, briny, briny notes. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> That like a mm -hmm. like what else is Brian in? What else is Brian in? Hot dogs. Hot dog Brian? Like hot dog water? <laughs> no, uh, no, no. More seawater. Seawater. Like if you were mm -hmm. to lick like a, a lick a rock that's been soaked in the seawater for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mermaid sweat. Actually, Correct. The, the Brian and saltiness is actually really good. Just wait until you get the other part of it. There's more. For sure. yeah, <laughs> you never know. We haven't had what, it yet. I know. What that's happens? why I'm not saying what it is yet. <laughs> is it like a, is it like, a, like an aftertaste, like a finish on it, or you're talking like more like a? Oh, oh we'll like get a, there. We'll, there. we'll get there. there. I'm not going to put my impressions on you. It's that's right. subjective, and I'm not going to put that once, in your brain. That's right. <laughs> We've already gone down the path. We'll see how far we get. Uh, Matt, what's next? Adriana. <laughs> Let's see. Let's start with some lower proof stuff for them. Okay. I think for them, I think Glen Murray, uh 12 year <laughs> American oak cask is a good place to start for them. Ooh. Okay. It'd be nice and safe. What am I looking for? What are we looking for? Glen, Glen Murray 12 year. Here it is. 40%? Yeah, that's a nice, easy space side for you guys. Is that 12? That's got to be 12, right? Glen Murray 12 year? That's like yeah, it's one of the few that's 40% in there. Yeah, does your two look like a six? Is there also a sixteen year? Yeah. Or is this a twelve year? No. There's the only like a twelve in there. My handwriting is terrible. Does it say Glen Murray? That's probably the easier part to read. And, yeah. Then there's another one, Glen Murray. So that's it. We found it. Okay. Hey, ready for right, real quick, before I hop off here, just real quick, I just wanted to say one more yes. quick thing. Um, we do have a really cool documentary coming out. Um, <laughs> Um, hopefully in the next uh, two and a half ish weeks. So um, I will be back soon, um, and I would love to host all of you guys um, for a, a virtual screening. Um, and it's called the Water of Life. Um, um, look it up; you'll be able to see a little bit of a trailer. Um, and Matt, if and, and Will and Sarah, if you guys um, have any interest or have have anyone that you know sends you over some feedback of wanting to join in. Please let me know. Um, I'm really excited to kind of get the ball rolling on that and and be able to host you guys for a virtual screening. I think I think it's supposed to be awesome. I haven't had the opportunity to see it just yet, but I think in the next two weeks I should have it. Okay, yeah. As soon as it's available, let us know. We'll let everybody know so we can all watch it as a group. And I think it'd be really fun. We can all virtually go to the movie together to watch about our beautiful whiskey here. So I think that'll be a really fun thing about Scotch that evening. So yeah, let us know as soon as it's available. We'll let everybody know. We'll set up an evening. We'll watch it together. Be great. Just for sure, and I'll send down some comments, some virtual samples, and all that stuff. And I'm sorry, Sarah. What? Yeah, Donald just posted the link in the comments for the trailer, so check that out there. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Donald. Thank you guys for having me. Thanks, Thank I appreciate you. it. Y'all have a great night. Nice to meet you, you guys. Good to meet you. All right, so <laughs> we're going to continue Burns Night with. We don't have any potatoes or turnips, but we sure do have a shitload of scotch. <laughs> So now we're going to be drinking a ton of scotch, and we're going to see what happens with you guys the rest of the evening. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens here. This is experiment I'm, time. I'm, I'm, glad glad you're 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 so. I'm interested to see what you think of this one being an American oak in the space side, which means it's usually going to be a little lighter and prettier than the rest of your other scotches that we're going to have. This is really, really, it's almost like a candied flower. It's really great. What do you think? Ugh. I think it smells like a girl's uh, locker room in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> this, this could be a, like like Axe body spray for ladies. 
Yeah, like that <laughs> spray. Yeah, I see you guys did it at the candy, you know, after like, because you can't take a shower. There's no time. So you just spray yourself with like cucumber melon. Yeah, the way that you do right, even yeah. high, so high school, yeah. junior high, cucumber I can, melon. I can, I can get the yes. <laughs> but no, it's a really interesting smell. I, I'm very, I'm kind of perplexed by the nose because it doesn't smell like any other whiskey <laughs> that I've had. Perfect. Uncle, Uncle Buck, Buck says it smells like teen spirit. All right. Thanks, Uncle Buck. Appreciate it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You win that comment. <laughs> Uh, All right, we ready? Right, do I drink it? I think I think yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Let's drink it. Let's see what you guys think. Huh. It's okay. Yeah. It's it <laughs> I okay, so nothing that we say means anything ever, especially in Scotch. It's almost like the, the palate is more muted than the nose. The nose was so much more uh like like getting in a, a stranger's van because of the smell of candy, and this this is more like what happens when you get in the van. It's disappointing. <laughs> no candy. So, <laughs> all your dreams are ruined. All the dreams are gone. Um, so to me, this is what happens when you chill filter a whiskey and you bring it all the way down to forty percent. Yeah, you, you, uh, you lose so this much. This is the yeah. This is kind of like your one of your base level space sides. Just to give you kind of a point of starting with is why I threw this one in here is to see what happens with the American. I didn't have Brook Lottie on right before and, and actually start with that classic Lottie. That kind of threw you a curveball, and that was a bigger, you know, more robust flavor. But yeah, this is <laughs> like you're expecting something entirely different based on the nose, and then you get in there, and it's just a guy with a mustache. <laughs> I already drank all mine, unless you give me a lot. Don't forget about the dump glass. We got a lot here. Yeah. <laughs> I did better on this one. I only went halfway. I'm, I'm trying to follow the advice so that we don't keep everywhere on your channel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we only have regular size Glen Cairns. Yeah. If you come on again, I recommend getting the small ones. <laughs> okay. So then, um, our patrons, you guys need to give us some money. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way, though. Doing it. Yeah. If you guys want to do what Sarah says, <laughs> pony up. I make it's, it. Uh, <laughs> it's just what happens in that van. You know, I got to watch out for dirty Sanchez's. That's what's really <laughs> in the van. All right. Let's um, see here. Well, that wasn't bad, though. Honestly, but yes. you're right. It was more muted than the other one. Yeah. On the nose, you yeah. thought it was going to be a flavorful pop in the mouth. And then you got in there and you know, yeah. it was just a. Yeah. It's know, fine. Yeah. It's, you know, it's you know it's it's like a twenty five dollar whiskey, so it's a good place to start, and it's not offensive. It's just easy to drink, and it's a good place to start. People that yeah, don't drink so. All right, so next one I have you guys pull out is Muirhead Silver Seal Twelve Year. We're still sticking with that, yeah. What Silver Seal Twelve Year? What's yeah. written on their bottle? What's written on my bottle? Muirhead Silver Seal Twelve Year, and it's forty percent as well. You wrote that all out in that tiny little thing. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Somebody feels our pain right now. Every Monday. Every week? Every Monday. Sometimes, They're special. Sometimes twice a week for when we do reviews. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. yeah, especially when we do lots of reviews. It's lots of fun. And then we have a comparison right. video. Even oh, better. Oh, Kira wins. She found it. Nice. Matt, this is unpeated still? Yes. I, the first 12 were unpeated. Sweet. The first 12. What, what kind of tasting <laughs> starts with the first 12 of anything? Welcome to the Whiskey Crusaders. That's what we do around here. You got lucky <laughs> shit. I mean, we've done nights. We've done 35, 36. This is, this is like a halfway one. This is, this is a light night. <laughs> and, and we knocked that out in two hours. <laughs> We're just only playing a half a round of golf tonight. I get it. <laughs> We're playing the first nine, sir. First nine. <laughs> All robotic, you're welcome anytime. You don't have to drink whiskey or liquor, but you just enjoy having your company in here, so it's all good. Yes. All right, so hold on. You just got a really good note. What was that note? I just it, I went too hard. Um, yeah. <laughs> at first, though, it did kind of like smell like okay. chewed up. Um, what's the bubble gum that has the duck on it? Bubble yum or bubblicious or something like that? Okay. The gum with the duck on it? Yeah, where's, back in the day. Where is the old bad bourbon? Where's the <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if the duck is interesting. I think so. Bubble. I want to say it's bubble yum, and it just tastes like it when chewed a lot, and then 
your friend gives it to you. <laughs> so it's, it's already chewed bubblegum. Yeah. I really don't you know, know I'm not, that's actually a pretty good note on there, actually, to be honest. That's fairly accurate. Yeah, it's, not, it's, not, it's not off at all. I mean, yeah. you guys should know we're really good at this. <laughs> like, super, super good. Not I'm very entertained. That's all that matters. Fruit Stripe. Yeah, I think it was Fruit, fruit Stripe, stripe or no. Juicy Fruit. Fruit Stripe had the zebra. Yeah, the That's zebra. Right. And the fruit stripe. That's correct. You know, it was like, and the gum was like big mm -hmm. rectangles, like bubblicious, but wasn't bubblicious. Really? Mm hmm. That's a like weird gum. Side. Side. Maybe they got it at Dollar Tree because it's all they could afford. Definitely. <laughs> it's all red gum. That's that's been been already, where they sell the already chewed gum. <laughs> yeah. That's right. It's free chewed. That, it, you know. Or it's like that gum and elf you find, you know, that's the free candy. It's under oh, the yeah. <laughs> oh. That <laughs> oh, that's almost worse than the pancake syrup. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So, Here we go. Juicy fruit was well, that the one's bigger on the palate seconds. than the last one was. I'm still trying to. It is like that that classic bubblegum flavor. I want to say mixed with a little bit of floral. In the original, Ooh. original bubblegum. That was not for her. Mm -mm. Bubble yum mm -mm. had a duck on it. Apparently, I don't know. I only bought the watermelon bubble yum. So that's it. Barn door got it. Barn door, yum. barn door wins a a vial of fireball. We'll send it to him. That was a strange feeling. What? <laughs> What kind of they get better. Don't worry. I start trying to basic bitch stuff. It's fine. <laughs> basic bitch stuff. So did you get a, did you get an ASMR response? Yeah, I got that? ASMR on it. You got a, a, an ass mister on it. Yeah. <laughs> we just learned about ass misters. In the I know. I, was, I learned the same thing while I was watching your show. I thought it was hilarious. I still don't get it. I don't get it either. All right, we got the thing with Liberty Not Licensed. The rumor I heard is that if she, if she don't like the live streams, Google D platforms are seriously not worth risking. <laughs> Thanks, Liberty Not Licensed. Appreciate yeah. it. Oh, man. <laughs> I got a feeling that there's going to be somewhere in the middle of this this front nine of um, way too many pours, there's going to become some uh, spanking the shield jokes that happen. And I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, whenever possible. We'll allow yeah, it. I think <laughs> you what you want to mix granddad in with this it's going to clean my mouth All right, so kira is going to go <laughs> over she's going to clean her palate with ogd 114 in between Ooh, why not hey we're, 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 try whatever you like whatever works for you <laughs> oh my guys it's called, I have to do it. it's called the bourbon rinse i have to do it before <laughs> i kiss my wife if i've been drinking pete yep he sure does. I'm not, I'm not allowed to go in for a kiss. Don't I have come to do near a me. bourbon rinse. <laughs> Gotta swish it around. <laughs> it's a motorboat no, shit. Seriously, you think I'm playing? Not even kidding. Oh, I, don't, Kira, I don't even like the smell. Kira loves motorboating an old granddad. Where's OMJ? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was just a weird taste to me. So to me, Matt, they went real deep into the tails on that one. It's it's really really heavy and oily mm -hmm. for being mm -hmm. light of a flavor. Hey Joe, how's it going? It's another fellow sommelier, Joseph Van Name. How's it going? Appreciate it. Hello, hey Joseph. All right, so we're gonna switch you guys over to Glenmorangie Ten there now. Mm, Good yeah. classic one. Forty three percent. We're gonna move up to forty three percent. Oh, wait, I think I found it. I think I'm the winner this time. Is that it? No, I think I found it. Glen Morangi. Or Glen Morangi. Glen one says Spios, one says 10-year. Ooh, Spios. What, did you have the 10-year? No. Uh, this is the 10-year. Is that the right one? That's the right one. Perfect. All right. Ooh, I like this. Right? Now we're going to move more, I think, in direction of things you guys are going to probably like. But you got to set the base somewhere. So we'll set the base, and now we're going to go into things I think you're actually going to enjoy. Uh, yeah, Kira's resetting the base with OGD, so and that also works. I, and tortillas. She's also eating tortillas during this. <laughs> You're like bacon also works so. well. Did you put Spios in ours, or do we have to dig it out? No, it's right here. No, Spios is in there okay. somewhere. Okay. It's just I forgot you guys even had that one. So, no, there's yeah. one in there for you. You have to take out a lot of peated shit to get it. <laughs> it's all good. It's there. Mm, classic. Mm. This one doesn't smell bad. Yeah. Now, uh, this one generally appeals to a lot of bourbon drinkers. We find that they tend to like this one. This has always been uh, at the at a, uh, this was my go to to try to get somebody into scotch. This is what got me into scotch. Yeah. Hmm. So, how do you pronounce it? 
Glenn Morangy. Glenn Morangy. <laughs> I thought it was a Glenn orgy, yeah. and I wasn't going to question. That's either. that's a different kind of time after a lot of scotch. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, that sounds right. That's awesome. Yeah, it's like a. <laughs> a Glenn sex party. I'm cool with that. I was going to say something else that was offensive, and then I realized it wasn't my, wasn't our own channel, so I bailed out. <laughs> say whatever you want. We don't care. Yeah, <laughs> it takes a lot to offend us. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What what does it smell? You didn't tell me your your smells. Mm. All I said was it smelled good, but what does it smell like? What does it smell like you? It does smell like a bourbon. Now that I'm will be really that. hard not to give my noses and yeah. not to give my Same impressions. Here. Same here. Because yeah. I want you guys to be able to vocalize what, what you're getting without getting influenced by, you know, the things that we normally find. So I'll go first because Kira's a better noser than I am. To me, if I didn't know this was uh, a Glen Orgy, I would say this is a very corn forward whiskey. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like Balconis. Yeah. 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 A little bit like the, the Balconas that we absolutely hate. Yeah. <laughs> it smells better. Them spiting words. <laughs> <laughs> We're like huge fans of Balconas. Like, we love them. And you, we had them on the show. We find orange we've gone there. Can you we've only had three. So. Okay. We, we can fi fix that problem, too. <laughs> <laughs> can you find orange and uh, maybe like rose petal? I'm Fred. I'm, I'm FN. I'm FNing. I I'm don't Fred Minicking. I don't. Get, I get the orange, but I don't get the rose. Okay. I've always gotten a lot of orange on on hmm. this. I'm, yeah, I'm a lot of corn. Yeah, I'm getting the orange there. Okay. Now, right. now let's see. So I I took a sip earlier and I didn't get. The orange. Now that I got orange on the nose and you planted it, I can pick some out in the palate. It's yeah. like a bad orange. Yeah, like a terrible, Ooh. terrible orange. No, like an orange that's not really juicy. You know what I mean? Like you almost get it. Almost you know on the way out. All the way? Almost on the way out, orange. Yes, yeah. It's mm -hmm. kind of like dry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can get behind that. Yeah. But like but the scotch, like I feel like when I drink it, I get like a, a scotch, like punch in the face, two seconds out. Like it's a weird, like all of a sudden everything just changes in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Interesting. It's, Interesting. It's weird. I don't know if that makes sense. Even coming off of old, old Granddad 114. <laughs> it's all good. Awesome. All right, sir, buddy. Bill, the whiskey. I appreciate Matt's tablecloth bandolier. Thanks, Bill. Appreciate that. Cheers, Bill. No, I think, I think too, I think this, this scotch is actually helping Kira to feel better. This is as lively as it I've is. seen her in hours. So I'm feeling better. the more we get into See? this, Perfect. the more it's going to get. It is it is the the water of life. <laughs> it must be. Absolutely the water of life. Without it, that would be terrible. Right. <laughs> I have two kids, and I have to have the water of life, or I'm not going to survive. <laughs> if, anyone's, if anyone's watched the show long enough, they know that I was muted there for seconds. They were both screaming cra crazy people. I got, it's Monday. What are you doing? Right, Zach, thank you very much. You two go. Appreciate it, Zach. Cheers. 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 Here too. Got a couple of them there. Another one from uh oh, it's from Sam. Exactly, Sam. Here comes Violet. Thank you, Sam. You yeah, called that one Monday. exactly. And I'm the one best one of the night so far. Ah. Come on, find it. Crash it. Here we go. Just mm -hmm. watched a quickie with Kara, so here's follows to spank the wood. <laughs> Happy Burns <laughs> Night. Thanks, Brad. I appreciate it. <laughs> she called it earlier. She knew it was coming. Oh, <laughs> man. That's, that could get to some really interesting <laughs> things later on. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, we just, I mean, you guys know, our channel is all about dick and fart jokes, and then uh, occasionally we make dick and fart jokes sexual, which is really <laughs> awkward, but that's what we do. <laughs> Have you reviewed like that? I mean, you know, have you reviewed chicken cock whiskey. There you, go. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta review fighting cock, chicken fighting cock, cock, black cock. Those are always good ones for you guys to review. I'd love to see your notes on what those. What one was ours? What one was it? Was it chicken cock? Or it was, was the original chicken cock that yeah. we just Ooh, died. The you want to laugh? Time. Go watch that video. Oh, <laughs> fighting cock is one that's out of control. Cock. Or was it the fighting cock? cock? Was it fighting cock? I don't know which cock it was. Oh, yeah. Fighting cock. <laughs> So many cocks. That's the so many cocks. So many cocks. So little time. It was <laughs> back in dicks. It's fine. 
<laughs> Famous last words. I don't know what cock it was. I chew your Schwartz is as big as mine. Thank you, Shane. Appreciate it. Uh, may the Schwartz be with you as well. May the Schwartz be with you. All right. <laughs> let's see. Let's go to. Okay. So this one is to what you guys think. The Glenfiddich 14 year bourbon barrel reserve. No. Mm, all right. Let's find it. One, two, three, go. I think this is half the fun is having people look for these things and trying to find these are my shitty handwriting. I thought it was Glenfiddich. I'm so crazy. It's Glenfiddich. Yeah, yeah Glenfiddich 14 year oh. bourbon barrel reserve. Oh, I'm saying. Time to pulse your sword. Thanks, Sam. Yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> I, there could be so many terrible things I could say about that. I'll just keep I'm sure on. he'll get right on that after the stream. Ben Hoven. So, something. So right here, Ben. Oh, you have it? Okay. Wait, what year was it? 14. Yeah. Nailed it. And by that, I mean Kira nailed it. <laughs> I know things. Right, here we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is making you feel better, though. Isn't it it? is making me feel better, but I think my fever's breaking. Probably. Yeah, this, perfect. This is, this is fever. Fever. We found the cure to COVID. <laughs> there you go. I, I just protected me the whole time. I was just drinking heavily. I think that works just fine. <laughs> Catch my, my body nice and pickled. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is supposed to smell like. Ooh, I get a lot of flour off of this one. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sweet flour and a little bit of nail polish. Mm. I'm getting a man that will that orange is stuck in my head now. It's there, buddy. I'm getting that that almost almost gone to Sarah's point. You almost gone orange with floral. Hmm. You're wrong. I typically am. <laughs> I've been wrong before. <laughs> What should we be smelling? You should be smelling whatever it is you choose to smell. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't matter what you call it as long as you can call it that again the next time. Yeah. It's yeah. A we never can. No. Never can. No. It's always <laughs> <laughs> a different. Which one have caramel? Keep no, I, now I get the, the bad orange. You get the bad orange now? Mm -hmm. I'm going to call it a bad orange because you know what I mean. But there's something else there. I, I can't. I don't know what it is. What it's what Sam calls yellow. yellow. I'm pretty sure yellow. it's the same thing. Probably yellow. Yeah, that's my guess. I'm smelling you, oh. Sam from I Wish. That's Sam with us. Uh, when she smelled scotches early on, um, it was no, it was always it was yellow. Yeah, it, she smelled yeah. yellow. Would smell and like yellow. And a bag of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, dicks don't smell this good. <laughs> we're, not, we're not there yet. Uh, the one that she called Satan's dick was that'll come later in the evening. Yeah. That's because you haven't had the crop reserver from Manscape. They yeah. call the other end. Yeah, so so we got monetized recently, and we were super excited about it. And the very first commercial that I watched on our own channel was this Man. two minute commercial on manscaping. Like they That's got the best shit in the world. Manscape makes awesome products. I love that goes, guys. They're fantastic. <laughs> All right. Also, want to give a shout out to First Show Whiskey, another big YouTube channel there. <laughs> Some great <now>. work. <laughs> Welcome into Satan Sticks. <laughs> Yes. Hey, Vito, how's it going? Really? The Vito from, from Cast Strength. How's it going? I haven't seen you in a long time. Good to see you. The Vito mm -hmm. Pixie. They let you out in fucking Canada now? <laughs> I miss some Vito. Me too. I miss him doing White Walker luges. That's what I miss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Vito, can you just do a, just a video of that, please? Like, like an ice luge? A yeah. White Walker? He like pours like scotch all down himself. It's hilarious. We and he believed it off. Yeah. Caught it in a glass and then he drank it. <laughs> <laughs> they already drank all mine. Oh, she was already finished with hers. You liked that one. So you I liked that I one. It, yeah. Good. See, and this is usually my number one thing that people that like uh, bourbon like yeah. the scotch. Oh, Almost, yeah. In fact, universally never had someone that said they don't like that one, which is pretty great. So, all so right. Like I win again. Bourbon. So can I ask a, a scotch noob question? Like I, I just don't know anything. Yeah. Are are scotches supposed to have a long finish or are they different from bourbons that way and they, they typically don't have a long finish? 
it depends Completely on the scotch. up to the scotch. I mean, it's various from almost nothing to can last five, ten minutes, depending on the scotch. It's and also, okay. just like bourbon. It can go vast ranges of it. There yeah. are there are some scotches we're going to drink at the end of the night that you're going to wake up tasting tomorrow. <laughs> so, <laughs> I love for tomorrow. Yeah. So um, when we saw <laughs> the uh, the box with 17 <laughs> bottles in it, we actually both took tomorrow off. <laughs> we were like, we're like, this is not going to end. So uh, we both had tomorrow off, and um, I put a scotch counter up here just to show everybody. Oh, you didn't even cross them out. We haven't crossed them out yet. We got so we're in, this is number five for us. We need to cross some things up to get a marker. Yeah. Yeah. So, try, and, try and be sure to put the ones aside that you know you like, or maybe circle them, or circle yeah. them or something, so that you can be sure to go back to them. That's a good thought. Yeah, so I let, we, we like, really like number one. Yeah, I think, I think four and five so far have been Number both one, pretty yeah. good. One was good. I liked four and five okay. better. All right. Okay. You all. Yeah. I didn't put anything heavily sherried in here just because I find that some people don't like that malty, the mustiness of sherry. Um, mm -hmm. but we could always do that on another time. But that can last really long. And, then, of course, the peak can last, to like like Will said, till tomorrow morning. So, yeah. <laughs> or if people come to the house and they got, like, wasted to, like, Give me the Octomore. I'm like, okay. They drink it. And they're like, God damn, what did I do last night? Like, I still yeah. like that. I smoked a cigarette. It's like, nope, you just had Octomore. You're I'm good. Excited. Is is that is something like that in here? Oh, we have some really fun things for later. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. Oh, we're gonna need to make an emergency pizza, maybe midstream. <laughs> we'll have Presley make it. No, Presley. She won't make me one. <laughs> She served you a plate of food in the last stream. We might have to, to say, you're not going to school tomorrow, kid. Just make us some food. <laughs> you get to stay home if you keep us alive with food. <laughs> Adriana told us to suck it. <laughs> Adriana told us to suck it? <laughs> That's what she said. Only Trev has to suck it, Adriana. It's true. <laughs> that is Trev's problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next time you guys plot is the Spayburn, which is a – this is just a bourbon cast. This is actually a store pick, non-chill filtered at 46%. So, you found it already? And this is called the Spayburn Companion, and it's 46%. So for the hot minute, like 10 years ago that I attempted to drink scotch, one of the, the go-tos that I had for all of those six months was a really low-end Spayburn. It was like 30 bucks. And that's one of the few scotches I've ever had in my life. Okay. Was it the uh, the Brandon or was it the Arita and Aranta or any of those or no idea? It was super low. It was like 29 bucks. So that's all I know. And I was like, oh, yeah. I had it. I it. A few that are that way. So could be any of them. <laughs> hey, Vito, I like this fucking costume. This looks oh. like urine. Yeah. There's more PBR where that came from, too. So yeah, I'm enjoying this PBR. Yeah, so before um, everybody, yeah, we talked earlier before the, we started the stream. Is I went to, to Dollar General, who does not apparently carry PBR. Target had one case, so we lucked out and be able to get one of these tonight. <laughs> so, just to let everybody know, in spirit, I gotta, I have now I have a case of PBR. Yay. You know, we, weren't, we weren't notified of the costumes. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is because I got this like six months ago, maybe. No longer than that. Like eight months ago, Erica sent it to me. Should we go get some? We have scarves that kind of look like that. Should we go get some scarves? And sure, why not? <laughs> right, put on yourself. <laughs> Free to dress up as any time, any way you like. <laughs> he's there's this, he's going all the way upstairs. There's one right there. <laughs> yeah, you know, he, he wants to get a little exercise during a video. It's all good. What are you doing, bro? All right, let me grab. Oh, man. There we go. It's from Adriana. Oh, Celebrating my first job offer post grad today. Cheers, drinking with all your fun, chilly. Awesome, <laughs> Adriana. Congrats on the job. Hey, Adriana, don't you want to know that interview that you had last week? You got it. That's sweet. Congratulations. Yes. Mm, got it. Fantastic. Got my Hufflepuff scarf. Oh, speaking oh. Adrian. Yeah. So, one of our new friends gave us a coin, which I put also in you guys' bag tonight. He, which are which is gonna be something we're actually gonna be talking about, he's making us a poor man's pappy that we're gonna be sampling once a week for a month, and then we're gonna we're gonna put a, a video out once a month. But he is a chemist, but he's also a DEA agent. So nice. really cool stuff on here. 
So oh, it has a, a beaker and some meth and some other cool fun stuff. So it's a very cool coin. <laughs> did you did you say <laughs> math or meth? Meth. 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 Methamphetamine. <laughs> You know, oh, he, he breaks up the jug driller since as a DE agent, but it's very cool. We're That's rolling funny. with a whole new crowd of people yeah. that just have random metal medallions that have meth on them. Yeah, I don't know if yeah. I could drink. Oh. Was this really that, really that bad? It's pretty. Uh oh. So, what are you getting off of? It's like it a off? strong man right here. Yeah, it's like a strong man that, what kind of man is it? It's a, who's the guy that goes outside and pees on his clothes to cool himself down? Oh, that survival <laughs> guy. Yeah. That's this. The guy that drinks his own pee and filters it, and then he survives outside for like two weeks at a time on his own feces. So he does it on his Whoa. clothes. And he puts it on the stick and pulls him down. Yeah, like that, who's the survival guy? They went in the I chat know the survival guy that pees on like one of these Scottish things and puts it on himself when he's in the African safari to pull himself down. I don't think it's Bear Grill. Bear, oh, that's good. Never. Seen that one. The chat knows. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm nervous. That's all I can think of right now with this. So, this has got a really different nose on. I understand why you feel like it's it's a sweaty bear with urine. Because yes, this is a lot. So, this is the first one that's non show filtered that we got besides the brook we had earlier in the night. So, this is going to get totally changed the nose. We're starting to get into the more interesting scotches now. All right, I'm going to get my water ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Like there was a little, there's a little note of um. At first, I, I, I've nosed it a few times now. The very first nose, I almost got some weird barbecue, some weird grill on it. And then now that I've nosed it again, I can't quite get it back. But there was something there. Um, grilled pineapples. Yes, that is it. Oh. There you go. I like yeah. this one. This is uh, one of my favorite ones. Yes, exactly. Non-show filter brings us closer to God. I agree, Carla. That's exactly the way God would want it made. Matt, we need to make this into shirts for the chat. Chat drinks and those things. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Badass shirts yesterday. I'll show you guys later. From uh, a company called Warrior 12. Holy fuck. This shit was awesome. All right. Really awesome Crusader <laughs> shirts. Oh, really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tasted the sweaty man yet? No. no. Sweaty Let's balls. Let's go in for some sweaty balls. Sweaty, sweaty. Balls. Sweaty. I'm so glad I'm not getting that. Me note. too. <laughs> well, God. that's very different. Wow. <laughs> what was that? You had a sugar. Mm -hmm. the Are they all like that now? No, they're no. they're all going to be that. They're all going to be different. I poured a really broad range for you guys. You just, <gasps> we kind of just hone in on what you guys like, and then we have you guys back again next time. I'll send more stuff that's 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 <laughs> oh, even yeah. different. A little more different. This is the only time that I've ever seen Kira turn down the offer for more booze. It this made me instantly sweat. <laughs> oh, so don't that worry. Don't... There'll be lots of fun stuff. I this only have weird. well over eight hundred different scotches. It's fine. <laughs> Do we need more cowbell? Are you gonna put it in the, gonna, the, I'll, I'll the dumper it, glass? I'll put it behind. Actually, I'm lining up different uh different vials over here with different glens. So, so you like that one or not? I, I'm still debating. It's so different. I'm gonna say down arrow, which means no. <laughs> okay. Star <laughs> means good. Wait, shouldn't you put like a, a frowny face? Oh yeah, that's okay. Just put a frowny face. That's the, he's real mad. That's, oh, it's a mad frowny face. With eyebrows. So this is not my jam, but angry eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. But if I was if I was a little bit more buzzed up, I could definitely see continuing to drink with this until I made decisions that I regretted. Palette so, fifty will do that to you. A yes. lot of things get really interesting as they open up and you're sitting there drinking throughout the night. If you guys ever get a chance to come down here, we can have a lot of fun. You'll probably end up passed out in the bar, but it'll have a good time. Uh, it's it's you know it's one thing or the other. I mean, we the first time, often. <laughs> I am always at my own bar because you know it happens. Or I'm not looking for something. I start sampling things and then I forget what the hell I was looking for. And I have a really great time, but then I sleep in my bar. It happens. <laughs> you know that you live a happy life if you can drink alone and laugh the entire time. Absolutely, and it's great. We have I used to box diving here. It's so much fun. <laughs> 
You lean over the couch and you go bo- diving into boxes to find out what's in them. It's fantastic. <laughs> Turned into a sweaty bitch. <laughs> I do turn into a sweaty bitch when it's summertime and I'm looking for. Oh, I'm just a sweat, fat, sweaty bitch. It's fucking horrible. I've seen it. It's it's like air jump. It's all sweat. It's funny to watch. All, box guys. It. all right. So next one, I have you guys pour is the Glenrangi Spios. This is also 96. This one is finished in a rye cast. Actually, not finished. The whole thing is. The entire time in an American rye cask. So I'm very interested to see what you guys think of this one. This was one of their special editions, like, I think this is the 2018 edition, I think. This was the first scotch Sarah purchased for herself. Oh, yeah. okay. Really? I'm excited if it's finished in Drenn. Right. I think Nick. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, finished in a rye cask. This would be super fun. interesting for you guys. A South, joke, a South Park joke for us. Do it. He said, uh, sure. use sunshine and stormy clouds for like and dislike. Oh, it is South, South Park, Park right? Okay, that's from that, uh, right? Butter from South Park. Yeah, where he's pimping. Are, are you guys? Are you guys South Park fans? I, I do will. like South Park because it is hilariously funny to make fun of everyone. Yes, I, we we are hardcore South Park fans, <laughs> and um, have seen like every episode three or four times, and we encourage people to put South Park references in the chat. So that was freaking awesome. That was a good. That, that was, was a great one. one. Butter's bottom bitch is an excellent episode. <laughs> That's right. right. Butter's you know awesome. I'm saying. <laughs> oh <laughs> man, that is horrible. You can make money with <laughs> Not a good first impression. Apparently, it instantly hit me. Did it assault you? Yeah, it was like smack, smack. <laughs> <laughs> that was dumb. Sorry. <laughs> that was stupid. I loved it. What's the proof of that? It happens. <laughs> Oh, wait, now I kind of like it. Scotch down on her beefcake. Yes, that's old school. Respect my authority. Oh. Swear, thank you so much. This actually smells like a chocolate cake. Right after you said beefcake. I mm. like the smell of it. This <laughs> oh, is yeah, it does. Do you guys like rye? Yes. Oh, then you should love this. This would be great. Yeah. Okay. Rye, yeah. rye cast. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like this a lot. Yeah, this smells actually really good. I think I just wasn't ready. Yeah, because well, They've all been different at this point. Yeah. Well, and and my suggestion suggestion is to always blow in the glass before you stick it to your nose to get some of those alcohol fumes out of there. Did you know that? So you're not just getting alcohol on the nose. If if Kira's oh, been works. eating, what if she gets little floaties in there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I recommend brushing your teeth before she just drink them. It's fine. Yeah. I mean, get extra food. Exactly. Like you but you yeah, also have a lot of alcohol to, uh, so that you're not getting that at first blush. All right, so I yeah. blow in it. So you give it a blowjob, and then you yeah. do it. Yes, yes. yes you should do it. Give it a quick. Okay. Give it yeah, a quick I also blow. want to give a shout out to Benjamin Eves from uh, <clears throat> My Whiskey Den. Slantrava. Thanks, Benjamin. Appreciate it. If you guys haven't checked out My Whiskey Den, another great channel. They cover a lot of really cool craft whiskeys, so they always have really great dress over there as well. Yes, we will be having the My Whiskey Den here sometime soon. They sent us some really cool... Uh, barrel aging projects they did, and we're gonna have a lot of fun with them here in a few weeks. Nice, them's good peeps. Yes, they are. Integrity oh. points. Well, so we the Adriana's comment. Oh, <laughs> what's the verdict? Okay, it's, right. I like the smell of it. I, I do like the smell of it too. It's it's really interesting. I, if you hadn't told me it was a it was finished in a rye barrel, then I think I'd have a different opinion of it than I do now, knowing that has gotten into my head. Okay. Are like all scotch is like really sweet? Most, um, most of them are. Some, some are, some are not. It just like most of your space sides and your sherry cast are generally sweeter. Hang on just a second, Matt. What sweetness are you finding? Like an artificial sweet, kind of almost. But I'm still getting that like bad orange too. It like, is. don't try to. Try not to put it in her head. Sorry. I just, I want to see. It, oh, no, <laughs> no, no, no. I was going to ask, is it like floral sweet? Is it candy sweet? Bit. Yeah, it's like a floral sweet and then with like a candy that's gone bad. Mm. I don't know if that makes sense. This is, and again, you know, we don't know anything. This is the first finish that feels like a bourbon or a rye finish to me. It quickly went away. For me, you know, for me, it's going and it feels like a nice bourbon or a rye finish. Oh, maybe uh, I have COVID. <laughs> you might have COVID. Mm-hmm. Well, we're happy I might ruin this, but butterscotch and caramel. Or butterscotch is, is usually the typical note for sweetness that I find in most malted barley. Mm. Is that what this is? A malted barley? Everything that yes. we all the, everything we're giving you tonight is malted barley. Yes. Oh. So that's how much I forget now. 
<laughs> it's okay. No idea. Okay, hey, you gotta learn somewhere. If it's labeled as a, a single malt in Scotland, uh, the malt part of that means that it's a hundred percent malted barley. Okay. So, so this this is a scotch I could get behind. This is the this is my favorite so far. We've got a big smiley on this. Mm -hmm. This is number seven. It's not bad. I like it. I like it too. It the sweetness is almost like a, a really dry sweetness. Mm -hmm. Is how I want to describe it. Um, it's not overly sweet. Almost like a oh, um, it's not a it's not a dark chocolate cacao sweetness, no. but it's something akin to that. And then the finish feels like a bourbon or a rye, like a really nice bourbon rye. What's the? This is forty six percent. Okay, forty six. Yes, it's not yeah, chocolate filter as well. Yeah, I didn't get a burn or anything. Maybe the, the mm -hmm. non-chill filter also is helping out with that long. It helps a lot. Yep. We find oh, yeah. yeah, all those esters and oils and all the good stuff that actually makes it taste good. That's that's really like non-chill filter. Yep. And those lipids yeah. and fats, mm, so tasty. See, they know what they're talking about. Yeah. So that aspartame taste that I'm tasting is not aspartame. No, there's it, no aspartame in this. That'll make it no longer whiskey. Yeah. Well, I meant like what else tastes like aspartame? Well, what if it was diet whiskey? <laughs> no, I was just trying to think. It is keto friendly. You're trying to place that taste. Yeah. In your memory. Yeah. Uh, diet ginger ale? You don't. Yeah, this feels like whiskey zero. Whiskey your spark has a hole on it. Well, it's Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> Next, well, please. I mean, we have to highlight this comment. Why Apparently, it? Bruce says um, corn makes him poop. It's coffee. <laughs> it's coffee. <laughs> it's probably a really South Park reference. No. <laughs> it's probably South Park. Probably is. Probably is. I don't know, but that's pretty funny. It does. not Plus, it comes out the same as it went in. It's great. So, you know, I got that going for you. <laughs> or that can be corn. <laughs> We can, do, we can do a whole episode on, on corn and whiskey pairings. That could be entertaining. Yes. <laughs> Adriana, she says she was in the Starbucks when she heard a woman in the stall say, when did I eat corn? Adriana is killing it. Tonight. Adriana, you rock. When you left, she got that job that she interviewed for. Oh, Adriana, you got that, that job that you were interviewed? Yeah, we already all toasted. Oh, yeah, we like, already all said congrats and cheers. Sorry, right, Adriana. Yeah. My bad. I'm an idiot. <laughs> but you were amazing. <laughs> all right, what's what's the next one? She's Because okay. I'm, I'm into this now. Now, when Keith Johnny Walker, Walker actually is one that Eric gave us. Uh, mm -hmm. Eric Evans, one of our longtime subscribers and gives a lot of donations to us. Is a Johnny Walker 10 year finish in a Rye cast too. I will send you some of that next time. See so if you guys like. If you like this, you'll probably like that one. Yeah, that one. Right. So we got the, hey David, do you have a long sword to match that sash? Match, smack that wood. All right, <laughs> there you go. Who doesn't like to match that wood? I was just talking to David. I was like, we need to get like a gong, like yes. a mini gong. Yeah. We're hoping to eventually get a uh, a metal one of these to make lots of noise. That's right. Yeah, be beautiful. Matt doesn't need a gong in his house with his children. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just a metal sword and a metal shield, and make I have you know that'll be even better. All right, so <laughs> let's do next. Two in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> All hours of the All morning. Right, where are we are going, going. Let's do this. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna take you down to Campbelltown now. Ooh, so, what are so this is one of the. This is gonna be really interesting to see what you guys think. This is Glen Scotia, fifteen year. This is also forty six percent. Yeah, I'm okay. really, really interested to see. This what is gonna. Do. I have no idea what you guys are gonna do. I find that a lot of bourbons really like this particular one, so I'm very interested to see what you guys think. Okay. This is a totally different thing I've given you this night, and then we'll give a couple more fun ones, and then we're gonna get into Pete after this. Oh, oh man, that's where shit's gonna go down. <laughs> oh, it it's is. Like a fan. I'm not finding this one. Oh, there it is. Look but we're in a good space. When Kira starts saying, give me another one, give me another one, that means we're in a really good space. Yeah, we're in a good zone right now. This is definitely not going to end mm. good for me, but it will probably end good for you and your channel. He said, mm. Yeah, great for you. You never know. You still got a ways to go tonight. It could be fine. You got the day off. It's all good. There you go. Is that straight or is this finished in anything? 
This is just a, this is yeah. There's no finish on this one. I like the smell of this one. Actually. This one smells phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, I like this one. This is what, this is what yeah. Oh, if you like this, oh, I'm gonna be real excited sending some other really cool shit then. They like the funk. Yeah, they do. We <laughs> okay. So we, we like uh, I did not say Lock Lom and Eric. We liked Wild Turkey before we realized that that was called funk. Like we're still rather new to the whole thing, but we are big Wild Turkey fans. So any sort of funk, oh yeah, it gets it gets us hard. Yeah, so have you guys had any of the old like old wild turkey from like the 80s ever? No, never had it. Oh god. If I had some, I'd say, I unfortunately don't have any, but if I maybe ask some of my buddies that do so we can get you some because it's freaking phenomenal. That'd be awesome. We are big turkey fans. We really are. Boy, and sing along with me. <laughs> Did you guys try the 17 year that came out the bottle and bond that was their master's keep this year? No, no. Okay. We so we can true to our name, being shelf turds, we try to always ah. keep everything that's like below 70 bucks and relatively easy to find. Okay. So, um, yeah. oh, sorry, too much. Let's did, go, let's I did on, too much. Let's go for a cure update. What do you got? No, I'm fine. I just kept smelling and smelling. Yeah. I kept doing it. I was like, mm, I want more. I want more. And then what she said what are you getting different on this one that makes it stick out as a ooh that smells lovely it is not as sweet as the other one agreed okay. it's, uh, yeah it's more robust and i'm getting more of like a i want to say like a earthy floral like i don't know though but it's not like an earth it's like a fake earth it's like a flat earth <laughs> we're getting flat earth notes oh man don't fall off <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious I never thought to say that to flat earthers that's funny, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> oh, I've, I've had my rounds with them <laughs> they're, they're my favorite ones to fuck with <laughs> I don't know is oh, it like a rubbery I'm, I'm getting, soccer field if, if I didn't know this was a scotch so good to me, this is almost like that turkey nose, a little bit of wheat, kind of a sweet wheat, mm -hmm. and a little bit of that funk. Like I, yeah. okay. If I didn't see the color, and if I didn't know it was oh. scotch, you'd have me baffled. So what I would suggest is tomorrow, AB compare this with uh, wild turkey, turkey. Um, mm -hmm. and, and truly you know, let your nose see the difference between corn and barley. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because A B comparing is the best way to really kind of hone your nose into finding what you need to find in there. All right, so we're gonna compare this one tomorrow. This yeah. is number eight. This is number eight. So compare this one to turkey. Okay. And the more I smell it, the more it's is, is a difference between barley and corn that barley tends to be sweeter. Is that not to me? Not no, usually corn is sweeter. It depends yeah. on the type of corn too. Well, right? that's true too. Because there's so many different types of corn out yeah. there. We can go into corn rattle nerdity at some point to, as well, another time. Yeah, we'll send you the iron root line. <laughs> the entire iron root line will just kind of cover all of corn. You just bring them down to Texas and go to Iron Root. That's the best solution. Right. I, I think I think we're just I think we're struggling to define what it is because it's our first Fourier into it. Like yeah. we're right. It's and there's scary. nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah, it's yeah. it's really interesting though. Like I I really enjoy this nose. Actually, yeah, this taste might, it. This might be my favorite nose. Taste it. It's a good taste. Oh, oh she likes it. She I like, like it. this. This is good. Okay, you need to send her more Campbellton. You know, here's a really good question from Ben A that I want to address. So she Ben wants to know: Is it okay to go from Scotch to bourbon or vice versa? Does it either impact the other? I say it's always okay to go between whiskeys. Personally, for me. But yes, is it going to affect it? Yes, because everything you put in your mouth, no matter whether it's food or drink, is going to change it. But it's a lot of times in a magical way. So it just depends on the order of what you do. I would suggest always finishing with Pete. But then again, sometimes you mix Pete, as I say in my video. Our Big Ten is the ultimate fixer. So you know you can always do things like that. So it just depends on what you're doing. But yes, I, you can I actually mix bourbon and scotch constantly. It's house. delicious. I, I, I enjoy pumping up the proof um, of some scotches that, you know, may be, you know, a little bit low. You throw in some OGD 114 in there and, you know, your proof bumps up magically and yeah, life is better. I was going to tell Ben A to stop asking stupid questions. Please don't. Please don't. No, There's no question that's ultimately stupid. No, just ask questions. Ben. You can't learn if you don't ask questions. And if you ask yeah, a stupid question and we think it's stupid, we'll answer you with a stupid answer. 
<laughs> and then Benny, I will, um, you can ask me your questions and I will ignore them. <laughs> so, so it has a very, let's call it close relationship with several gentlemen in the chat. And uh, Ben A is one of them. So she <laughs> she likes to dump on Ben A and then he just comes back for more. And that's sort of their relationship. <laughs> it's like a brother and sister relationship. Are you? Yeah. No, uh, there's no Pete of these in here, Brandon. Not tonight. There's no what? He wanted to know if we had any of the Pete Glen Scotia in here. Not at the moment. Not this evening, but they can change that for another time. And Colin has said he starts to like the Camel Town over Island now. So that's a very interesting to hear that. So that's not bad. I have totally more things. things. Um, let's go more. to let's go to this. There is, let's so I, I know we're we're moving on, but there there's something about this will that is no, we like that. A we innocent of Turkey, but it just it's it is different. Like I know that it's different. I can taste the differences, but there's something about it that does remind me of Walter. Well, grab your wild turkey right now and find out. Okay. Oh no. All right. Yeah, we do that Here, a lot. I'll go there. grab my wild turkey and you grab, okay. grab yours and we'll see what we can what we think. I right. love wild turkey, so. So I got some rare beet right here, and then I've got some 101. Which one would you recommend? Uh, rare beet 101. 101. Okay. Down here. Yes, down here. I'll go. Ahead. I'll get it. Yeah, just because the rare breed's too high a proof for comparison. <laughs> Oh, my tortilla just flaked away. It flaked away. Yeah. Here is a fresh, brand new, never been sniffed bottle of 101. There we go. <laughs> this is an almost done bottle. We need to review. <laughs> I like looking at the chest because it's funny. What's going on in the chat? <laughs> Adrian again, just because she was killing it tonight. What's Kier's drunk name? Like Clifton of Bourbon Vices, Cliffy. <laughs> I love Cliffy. Cliffy if is Cliffy, not just when he's drunk. <laughs> give, yeah. If you give Kira a drunk name, I fear for your safety. Just mm -hmm. straight up. What's Beyonce's name? I want to be that. Uh, Sasha Fierce. Yeah. Mine's Sierce. still fuck on her. <laughs> doesn't she lemonade? Doesn't Beyonce lemonade? Oh, she lemonade. She's, she's, lemonade. she's so amazing. Hard. I'm gonna grow up and be like her. <laughs> so, what's the same? What's different? Hmm. I think I okay. So I'm I'm starting to feel like I'm understanding the difference between because this is this is a, a malted barley, the Scotch, right? Correct. I'm starting going back and forth. I'm all of a sudden catching some of the difference. You can smell but, that corn now, can't you? I can. It's to, it, and it makes this difference. Now, this is the Wild Turkey 101. Okay. Versus this is the, the malt. Yeah. Like the oh, wow. Yeah. It's do. very yeah. different, but the funk's still there. It's just a different funk. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. That's real. I've never compared like, these. This oh, is that, really fun. That, that funk, like a dusty farm funk for the mm -hmm. Wild Turkey. Yeah. Yeah. Taste. That's really, I mean, they're different, but. There's this element of just sexual funk below both. <laughs> really? Because that's never what it smells like mm. to me. <laughs> but then the water turkey tastes so different. Oh, so different. Yeah. You know what? Combine them. Let's find out how that tastes. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, blend it. Combine them and find out. <laughs> Barn doors is they become caring. What do you think? Oh, that's really good. Oh, that's kind of magical. Did you do it? I I'll like, do it. I need to, hold on, I got to put a little bit more of uh, that's good. Uh, Glen Scotia. Glen Scotia. Scotia. And the wild turkey. One. Oh, that's delicious together. Oh, I really like that. We've just created a new element. <laughs> See, and it's really fun when you take pita, especially if you get like peated bourbons like um, Jay Riddle out of Detroit there. Have you had that one? Their peated bourbon, uh, two James Spirits. Jay Rell? No, Jay I, Jay Rell. I've seen it. I mean, because mm -hmm. that's, that's the same company that makes Johnny Smoking Gun oh, okay. and um, Grass Widow, and we have those, mm -hmm. but I've never, I've never yeah. purchased it. No. Yeah, it's quite good. We got donated one of those from Cliff Smith, and it's quite delicious. I like that one a lot. I like a lot of stuff from Michigan, though. I like Traverse City and Grand Traverse. and I like Kira. She's from Michigan. This is really <laughs> good. Try that. This that's is quite delicious. It's really good. 
This is my favorite mixed drink ever. Ooh. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I want all of that. I want to go to there. Oh my God. That yeah, is, that, that is, is awesome. Yes. I, I mix Sorry, my bourbon and my scotches constantly. I don't care about people that tell me otherwise. I, I oh, find okay. magical things when I do oh, it. Good. I didn't That's know that good. was a thing. I didn't either. What a thing. Oh, we need to oh you can make all sorts of fun concoctions. Oh, I live with somebody oh, that's like dream is to be a massive blender. So it's, you know, she's coming up with concoctions. Yeah, a lot of times what you can do is like, especially like Pete or Brimstone from Balcones. Uh, yeah. If you got like bourbon, you're like, paint. Drop some, some, drop some Peter, some brimstone. Oh my gosh, it makes it amazing. Or it's mm. also really good, like Diet Coke. It becomes a Smoky Coke or Dr Pepper. Fantastic. Mm. I was wondering how we were going to finish that brimstone. Because yeah, we have brimstone, and of the three Balconas that we, we have, have brimstone, our favorite. It but brimstone it's very is so good. Barbecue. -y. Brimstone is barbecue. It's very it's overpowering. It is. It is it's very overpowering, and you want it to be your last dram of the night, and you'll taste it mm -hmm. in the morning. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. hundred percent. Look What's at this. So hold on. Kyle got to read this. Colin says there's a couple of stories in the Midwest who put out different animal releases. They finish a blend of their bourbon agent Arvin. Ooh, what just always were those? That sounds amazing. I would love to try this. Uh, the next time is Glenn Glassow uh, Evolution at 50%. It's called Evolution? Yeah. Glenn Glassow Evolution. Glenn Glassow closed for a while but was, re but was purchased by Brown Foreman and reopened. And I'm really? really glad they did because they some sweet ass whiskey. Cause I've got some of their old stuff before when they before before they closed. I got a thirty year. Oh my god! Yeah, Woodenville is delicious, yeah. and we do have that one, Sam. But that's also in Washington, not Midwest. Why is it so, so light? To see what these other ones are. It's really so, light. So scotches. Well, are because you need. Used it's, bourbon gas, generally speaking. That's why you've already taken all that char out. Okay. And the climate. Most of the color comes in the first fill. Uh, Scotland typically uses what they call first fill, which is usually a, a, actually a second fill. Used used barrels. used barrels. So I so they I buy like they that. buy the barrels from uh, from actually. So going back to like Glen Morangy that we tasted earlier, right? Mm -hmm. They actually own the forest in the Ozarks. They cut down the trees, they timber everything, they let the, mm. the woods sit for years, then they send it over to Heaven Hill, mm -hmm. lease those barrels to Heaven Hill for five years, and then Heaven Hill has to give those barrels back to uh, Glen Morangy, and they get shipped back overseas. But Glen Morangy owned those barrels from the very beginning. Wow, I did not know that. No, they, 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 they wanted so much control, they wanted control of their wood, so... They were, Everybody they were, wants control of their wood. They really do. <laughs> if only I could have control of my wood. Because <laughs> after all these pores, I'm not going to have any control of my wood. Yeah. Disappointed. Hashtag. So this, this nose, oh my gosh, this is like a Werther's candy. Yep. It is yeah. gorgeous. It is not. It totally oh, is. Which is very, oh, very good. Like four wings. It kind of smells oh, like you know my grandfather just threw up and then had a cigarette. The whiskey vault talked about that. Did we You're have the fuzzy. Fuzzy. You're fuzzy, Matt. You're fuzzy. I'm fuzzy. Kids, get hold on. Get off the internet. <laughs> <laughs> you kids are fucking playing Minecraft again. God damn it. So glad my Daddy needs sleep. the bandwidth. <laughs> so you remember back in the day when people couldn't call you because you were online? Yes. yes. Yeah. To dial in. <laughs> make the noise. Make the noise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to wait like 10 minutes for the finish connecting. God, no. Yes. <laughs> and it took like five minutes for every chat to go. Right. Better. Yes. Yes, much better. Get them kids off the internet. Tell them to go. Damn Netflix. Bitches. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this one, Matt. This is yeah. I don't think we're giving you this one. To be, I'm not sure we've ever clevered this brand on the show. To be honest, mm -mm. no. This is I love their stuff though. Hefty. Uh, I'm getting a lot of Andy's mint out of this. Okay. Oh, okay. I can pick up some chocolate definitely in there. Can pick yeah, up some that's chocolate. a good pickup on that. Nice. Very soon, Lynx Cat. Very soon. I don't know. <laughs> 
All right, I'm gonna try this. He's yeah. never. Oh, you're not. She's okay. gonna. She's gonna. Okay. The ten-year-old rule. She's gonna read for a while. Okay. Okay. I'm going. What child is that? It's like it's not <laughs> mine. You guys have it. In it. I mean, she has to stay up. Who else is gonna make us an emergency pizza in a little bit? This, this is, is great. Point. Try it. This okay. This is my favorite nose. I know I've said this three times already, but this is my favorite nose. It's beaten the other three favorite noses, and I'm excited to try it. You I also have a lot of palate fatigue. Yes, this is really good. It's very sweet, actually, on this one. Oh, it is sweet. This is a nice. Yeah, this is a really nice, very northern part of uh, Scotland, up in the uh, eastern part of Space Side. It's it's a really beautiful whiskey, though. Oh, this is phenomenal. Do people normally put uh, ice cubes in their scotch? Sometimes. Some do. Depends on the people. Never, never put an ice this cube. This is the evolution mark. Hmm. Yeah, this is good. This is butterscotch for days. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh Colin, that's family. amazing. Please email me at uh, whiskercrusaders3 mm -hmm. at gmail.com. That would be amazing if you pick up that up. That is hey, Travis. This is the dangerous one because I could drink this. We could, we could both drink this one all night. This oh, one. Two smiley faces. Two smiley faces. Dear Travis, right. how could you forget it was Monday, Travis? <laughs> You're like torturing us. With You've been here for like, like the beginning. What the hell? <laughs> Travis, you idiot. It's always been Monday. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Liberty Night License is making your 10 year old stay up to make you drunk at midnight. Oh, my my <laughs> you know us, LNL. She goes to virtual school. Yeah, she goes to online virtual school. She'll be fine. <laughs> How much do they really <laughs> learn? Perfect. How much do they really <laughs> learn in the fifth grade anyway? That's right. Oh. oh, that's funny. I love it. All right. This is I'm gonna, uh, should uh, I finish it? Or it. Uh, we couldn't hear. Because I'm not sure what I should do with myself. And if you really love it, put it back in the bottle. Yeah. Drink it later. Yeah, there you okay. go. Get your little funnel out and put it back in. That also works. Oh, good. There's only like 12 more. Perfect. I know. There's so yes. much oh, left. I know something's missing. I'm like, oh, it's these two that were hiding. So, Matt and. So, I'm going to have you guys go to the Lismore 18 year. Oh, okay. Lismore? Lismore. Yeah, Lismore 18 year. Like scotches have such weird names. Like a bourbon is just like well, a dead turkey. It's gay. Drink that. You know. Scottish people think that our bourbons are weird names too. Really? Yeah. Probably like, what the fuck is Coney? Before the end of the night on the stream, I want you to smell this. I Found it. Okay. Thanks, Colin. Appreciate it. Puff puff scarf. <laughs> yes, Adriana. <laughs> You know me. Nick says that he's 47, but like you guys as parents. So that's good. <laughs> We're pretty cool parents. We're the cool parents. Everyone wants to hang out with us. As the drunk parents. <laughs> Whenever Presley has her yeah, friends over, we yell at them. And they like it. Yeah, I'm not too. <laughs> we like going to their house. They have lots of whiskey. It's fun. Or I go to my daughter at a uh, sleepover. You gonna bring whiskey with you? Because when we do a whiskey tasting, when you pick your kid up, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Our kid likes to smell it, so I mean, <laughs> he's only six. Well, he's almost six. Right it's this one, Weasley. Oh, Weasley. oh I was like, like is that my cat crying? Okay, that was our cat crying. All right, because that was weird. I've never heard our cats do that, and I got real mm -hmm. nervous. So. He's always doing that kind of shit. Aww. Okay. I like that. This is the first one that you can actually taste the age. Really? Mm. Uh, this tastes very nail salami. Did you did you taste it? You're just nosing it. Or I nosed it. Yeah. This one has a really interesting nose. Are you, are you giving it a blowjob? I did. I got rid of it. I got rid of it. When you say nail salami, what part of it? Right when you walk in. <laughs> I don't know. Like the like the acetone or. Yeah, it kind of nail polish or no, it's a mix because it's not straight up acetone, and it's not that um, you know that powder that they put on the gel yeah. that the smell that oh, smells. Okay. Like I don't know what that is. <laughs> they just like ruin my nails and they put powder, on it and we pay yeah. them. 
Yep. Been there. <laughs> Been there. <laughs> Hell, it's the first time I've grown mine since COVID. Yeah. I, I actually have color street on and my nails are growing from it. For real. <laughs> like, I don't have to destroy them anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like I'm struggling to pull off of this. The one thing that's that feels like it's close is like a almost like a saltwater taffy or a licorice. Well, I forgot about the saltwater stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Saltwater taffy, I definitely agree with you on that. I can get behind that. Mm -hmm. Yep. And this one does have almost a brine, a salt water. Uh, oh, uh, look at that. It all comes mm -hmm. back around. The brine. The hot dog water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hot dog water. Hey, the Dodger Stadium makes the best hot dogs. Oh, I love hot dogs. No. Hot dogs are delicious. Just like Harry Carey says, if you were a hot dog, would you eat yourself? I know I would. I'd be delicious. <laughs> <laughs> if the moon was made of cheese? That's that Will Ferrell brother. Like, yeah, hot dog. <laughs> Um, no, not like a pickle brine, like salt water brine. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this like is... a sweet salt water. Yes, like mm -hmm. um, there's apples and carrots and some tomatoes wow. in the brine. Yep, wow. yeah, I'll that. Dude, I'm you're Fred Minikin. Dude, you're doing I'm, really good. She's doing great. Say. See, you, you didn't think you know anything, so you're doing just fine. <laughs> I love Beyonce. Have you been told before that women have better noses and palates than men anyway? So roll with it. It's true. Kira has such a better nose and palate than I do. And I'll admit it all day long. True. It's true. It's true. It's the things that we have to go through as women. <laughs> we have to smell. Exactly. Oh my gosh. When I was pregnant, that was bad. Seriously. Pregnant and, all the time. And that's part of it too. If you had a kid, your nose just, it just amps up. Like, well, so speaking of like the bacon background you guys always have, you didn't like bacon before you were pregnant, did you? No, I did not. And then you turned pregnant. Then I like bacon and other stuff. And now bacon yeah. is like every day, all day. Bacon yeah. life. <laughs> it exactly. is. It is now. <laughs> yeah. That's because of Ben. Ben changed his name and I'm ignoring him. Butterstotch. <laughs> Oh, poor Ben A. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go in because I I like to smell this. Oh, so so Mark Reyes, and it, it just skipped up for us, but he just said something that is true in my household, which is my wife can smell my farts before I fart. Kira can do the same thing. Like it's like nice. seconds before I release it. She's like, oh god, what is that? And then almost <laughs> like, like ah. <laughs> and then it's like the Matrix. Like, would I have broke the vase had you not told me? I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> Matt's like, don't talk about farts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'm joking. Farts are funny. Personally, I think they're hilarious. Me and my kids, we have a contest about who can fart and get the next kid to smell it. It's great. <laughs> Press and I watch this video of this girl who has a fart machine in her backpack and she walks in front of people at like parks and they're on the bench and she like bends <laughs> over and farts. And, awesome. it's so funny. and her and I, we just watch it over and over and it's the same thing and it's so funny. You get in the with the geranium people and you just make the noises. And yes. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Travis wants to know farts are funny. You guys have had Malort ever. Oh, God. We haven't, but we feel like our oh, Johnny Travis, Smith. Make it happen, bro. Make oh, it happen. Make it happen, Travis. Travis has to be sending you Malort. You're you are you're welcome. We'll take it. No. I mean, we've been we've been left out of it, but we have Johnny Smoking Gun, which to us is our Malort because somebody literally I'm can't do it anymore. Tuttle, the guy that gave us the Malort the first time and introduced me to Malort, um, has a good thing, and I think it, it should be applied in this situation. If you're going to review things. Malort is a good way to understand what zero really is. <laughs> oh, it really is. You gotta have, you a, baseline. Gotta have a baseline. Uh, uh, it's probably like a negative number. <laughs> Malort is a true and utter zero. It's fucking disgusting. <laughs> Do you guys want some Johnny smoking gun? <laughs> I've never heard of it. Sure, yeah. why not? I'll try it. It's so we'll we'll, 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 we'll try it. Yes, we'll try it. Tell me what you yeah. think on the palette. 
I actually thought it was really, really good. It was really light tasting, mm -hmm. a little bit of fl floral on it, mm -hmm. but uh, I don't know. It didn't last very long, but it, I liked it. So okay. again, I, let me do one more. Hold Why on. Why are you doing that? I'm looking at the color I'm thinking about as I'm looking at it. This has a great mouthfeel to it. And I, to this point, some of them have the earlier scotches, I feel, outside of that first one, were kind of laid back on the mouth. This has got like a, I almost want to say like a peppery mouthfeel, like what I think about a bourbon. It's, it, but it's it's less than a bourbon. To me, I can I can taste the age in this, and that comes across in that way. It's a thicker, more viscous, viscous. feeling on my mouth. A little bit more oil. There's a little bit more oil, a little bit more um, just richness and depthness of flavor. Um, yes. That you can't fake, and it only comes with age. And even though this was proofed down a little bit too low for me, um, I can still find that depth of age in there. Yeah. Are all scotches like proofed low like this, or is it just? No, you can get them anywhere from forty to in the one thirties. It just depends on what you get. Okay, most of them are lower. Bro. They're typically oh. not in the one thirties. You you typically don't find them over one fifteen. Yeah, that's uh, more typical. In Scotland, um, when evaporation happens, you're actually losing alcohol vapors as opposed to in America because of the less humid climate. We actually lose water vapor. Mm -hmm. So the proof goes up in bourbon, but in Scotland, the proof goes way down uh, and you actually lose proof every single year. Uh, and you actually run the risk of your whiskey not being whiskey anymore if it drops below uh, 40%. So yep. wow. I did not know that. That was like some Bill Nye. That was some Bill Nye the science guy shit right there. That was great. That was some shit. <laughs> That's all I am, man. Fucking I guys. love it. I love Bill Nye. Fucking, Fucking angels, angels, man. Fucking angels <laughs> gotta have their share. What's next? They're greedy uh, bitches. Right, first, there's some um, tomato 12 year French oak casks. 92. Tomatin? Non chill okay. filter. Tomatin? Is it, is it tomatin? Yeah, tomatin. tomatin. I've seen it in the store and I always ignorantly call it tomatin. So <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought too. Then I watched um, Scotch Just Dummies had the actual story on their show. But like, yeah. yeah, fucking tomatin. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, ask Roy. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. Tobin didn't seem like a good reason. It's about you, jackass. I'm like, I'm sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> Fucked up the names of a lot of scotches there for a while. We just, go to the point. We just pronounce everything in Texan and don't give a shit. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. It's Orangey, damn it. Orangey. Yeah, Glen Orangey. It's okay. <laughs> Sam yells at us all the time. It's not that, god damn it. It's this other thing. Like, yeah, we don't it's give a shit. I can't do it. I'm not talking Yeah. Sorry. It. It's fine. Okay. It just can't. Oh. It hurts oh. to force it. Ooh. Oh, oh my God. Maybe I'm so terrible. No, said. <laughs> Malort finished in different barrels? Mm, no. Mm. Hey, Phil, how's it going? If you guys haven't checked out Whiskey Mystery, uh, Phil's got another awesome Scotch channel. Him and Deep are on there, and they're fantastic. He does a lot of cool videos where he goes to liquor stores and writes, checks out what they have and their prices, and it's a lot of fun. He also reviews a lot of cool whiskeys. So to me, right. this one gets right back into those sweeter notes. Damn right, Craig. That's the correct answer. Do you all agree or no? This one definitely smells sweeter. It, I got I got distracted by Liberty Not License uh, hearing right. and seeing uh, lizard people. So hmm. it, is, cool. it is it is sweeter, but it's, it's sweet. I don't feel like it's attacking my senses anymore. Well, also keep in mind the fatigue that is going on with your palate and stuff. So oh no, yeah. should I do something with that? I don't there's know. Nothing, there's, nothing, there's nothing you can do this many in. We got. I don't know. <laughs> the more experience you have doing this, the less problem no. is. No, I know I'm good. No, no. bad idea. Bad idea. Bad no. idea. I I no. thought maybe. <laughs> we'll drink fireball at the end. Don't you worry. That would make it worse. That is, PBR is the choice of of mixers at the moment. <laughs> yes. So, Will, I know you did. I know you didn't just grab a beer in a bag, but how quickly you grabbed it in the color, it looked like you were drinking like a 22 ounce or out of a brown paper bag. I'm drinking uh, carbonated water out of a chewy koozie. Yes. Okay. So I also have a carbonated water here because I was realizing the fatigue too. Yeah. But, but you wanna... drink your brand. I'm drinking your My PBR is gone, but I want to get to another one. So we'll, yeah, we'll see. It's all it, on. it doesn't, doesn't look like the same brand. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, and I can't pronounce that one. 
Yeah, he's I have a bottle. Up. What is how you say it? No idea. Hey, Vegas. Hard oh, right. I'm picking up on the smells besides just like as a sweet, almost like a, a expired sweet tart. Oh, maybe. Mm. Uh, this is not the standard 12 Floyd, and this is the special French oak cast finish. The rate the 12 is generally a bourbon and sherry cast finish. The regular 12, this one's the regular 12 is about 30 bucks. This one's about 50, so it's a bit <laughs> different price. It's also non show filtered at 46% on this one. <laughs> So yeah, that's a different way. Oh, because Steve A cracks me up sometimes. Yes, yeah, so okay, Steve, just, Steve yeah. probably not. So I, also <laughs> I do enjoy this though. It is a nice, clean, refreshing palate cleanser, though. It is a really it's a really cool can. I mean, you can't go wrong with past blue litter, but it's a beautiful can and cleanser. It's one of them. anything out of Scotland. We we like it. And Paps Blue Ribbon is a great example of that. Absolutely. <laughs> so that Scotch was okay, but is it because that you're drunk? <laughs> Maybe it could be because we're a little slammer. I don't know. I feel like there should have been more happening, but maybe there really wasn't. In it. It, I feel this like this is... was put out of order and, and we should have had this one earlier. I fucked up. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, way to do that. <laughs> See, this is why I said put stars next to the things you think you like. I them. had it in order if here that I forgot to put these two back behind it, and it's fine. So right. back with a fresh palette. Oh, we'll yeah, we're gonna we're gonna question mark that one. I'm gonna grab a fresh PBR. Yeah. Mm, now we're gonna start. All right. So this is Bunahaven 12. Very so this is cherry cast finished. So I've heard about Bunahaven. Bunahaven. Equals delicious. Buna Buna Buna. Do you even want to try this? Bunahaven 12? She likes Buna 12. Speaking of, we need to review this soon. This is down to about a fourth of a bottle. The Buddha Haven? Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me a first blend here. Okay. Apparently, only Buddha Havens we review is non age statements and then the ones that are 25 years plus. For real, right? <laughs> Two 25 years and a 28 year cast drink. <laughs> oh, this is one of my, probably one of my favorite scotches. Okay. All right, are you ready? You feel warmed up? You feel good? Yeah, so yeah. now we're going to be told we're all, we're, everything after this is Isla. But there's no Pete. This is an Isla, too, isn't it? It is, but no Pete's while we're starting with it. Right. Why would you ask me if I didn't want this? I have a message. I, 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 I thought this one had 2 ppm. I did. I would have smelled it. How dare you, Will? How dare <laughs> you? <laughs> I thought I thought Buna had 2 ppm. I didn't. I thought it had you a know little what? bit of Pete. Stop. That, that was your mistake. You thought. You I stop thought. thinking, Will. Stop thinking. Stop thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so can I'm, you find the sherry influences on this one? Sherry? Yeah. Like, like a, is this I don't know about a cooking is this Olo yeah. or is this uh, Pedro? It's Olo. It's Olo? Is it Olo? I'm uh, making soup. I'm on shit now. <laughs> okay, so no. it's... No, it smells more like an Oloroso. Pretty sure it's Oloroso. <laughs> if it tastes if it's Oloroso, Oloroso, I'm pretty sure it's Oloroso. It it so it smells like Oloroso on the nose. Hey, turn that shit off! What the fuck? The fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to be in on it. <laughs> Fine, I did too. <laughs> she <started laughs> cool. So, um. When when we're smelling for Oloroso, I typically get almond, uh, like in a, a waxy walnut. I get a funk, and a a, a sour grape funk. I get a funk. When you said waxy walnut, that connected with me on a very deep and personal level. I can get that here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I think I'm out of the game. I think I lost. I think you're winning. Oh, you haven't gotten to the fun part yet. Wait, yeah, I was going to say, your palate will wake back up here in a minute, I promise. Trust me, right. you're about to find some very interesting things tasting. I, I'm very to see how this goes, because I find it, this next, after the rest, is going to be either love or hate, which would be very interesting to see how this goes. Yeah. And I find Isn't most it? women actually tend to like these. This actually tastes like avocado toast. I kind of burned it a little bit, but it's avocado toast. Mm, I'm not getting mm -hmm. burnt toast. No, I can see where the avocado, like a buttery feel. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah, butter. you're not getting butter. Yeah, that's yeah. probably my avocado. That's yeah. your avocado. Yeah, grilled avocado. 
Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Look at I like that. Spike drum. It's got that char to it. Yes. Yeah, it's got a stick to it. Mm -hmm. But yeah. this is a little barrel char. This isn't this isn't quite like campfire smoke. It's just kind of like that grill. The top of the grill gets on the top of your burger, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Or if your toaster is really dirty like mine. <laughs> That's what I said. I like that actually. I like that too. That gets a couple smiley faces. Do you see how like yeah. we're like I find it's also a lot of bourbon drinkers you really love. love bourbon. Bourbon. So that's not a surprise. So very cool. Yeah, really good. And I, you could almost draw like a little uh, turn down for Bryce on there, like a dick pic. You want to turn down for Bryce? Yeah. Right. That's like a little. I'll do you turn guys, down for Bryce. Do you guys like the the show Those Who Can't? I'm not I sure what that, that is. Those Who Can't is a great show. Uh, immature humor like us, but it's great. There's three seasons. I highly recommend you go check it out. Yeah. But um, we just threw we just threw a little. Um, Drawing a penis on there in honor of nice. uh, Turning Down for Bryce from those who can't. What is uh, what channel is it on? Uh, the internet. <laughs> oh, on the internet. Is it True TV? Maybe TNT. I don't know. Yeah, it's one of those. It's on the internet. It's on the internet. For those who can't. Yeah, those who can't. All three seasons are great. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, a large place. <laughs> so this is this was just finished. You know, having twelve. We are gonna okay. So now I have to make a decision. Okay, I think we're gonna go with Kalila, the more small batch. Okay, it's gotta work too. What do you guys know? In my head, I'm it's get a freaking mm, batch, oh. dude. Get it up. Oh, I got here from uh, uh from Jason, the master drum. Awesome tasting, guys. Buna twelve is my favorite. Is my favorite. I got a lot of bourbon drinkers turn on scotch today. Thanks, Jason. Appreciate it. Agree. It does seem to work. Okay, here we go. All right. We are now oh, moving on to my favorite part of the evening where we get into the peat. We're going to start getting into the peat now. Maybe we're going to get in the butt later. More. Oh, yeah, no. I don't remember. I'm out. I'm out. And Joe's a good one. Oh, All right, we're going to get in the... When Kira starts hugging and kissing me, that it's going to get interesting, so be careful. This should be entertaining, though. This is not a drill, people. This is the real thing. <laughs> this is not a drill. Do it out. All right, be careful. With it. Be careful. With it. Be careful. Why? Take a take a whiff. You scare me when you look you, at me. You should be scared. That I was going. Ooh, that is a barbecue happening. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Wow. Good good way. Way. Delicious. Now I know why you guys like bacon. What kind of barbecue? Oh, yeah, bacon are you bacon this is a pig roast. Yeah, yeah it is. Mm. Woo! That's the pork. I love it. Damn, son. I love it. Delicious. I want to drink it Dirty. right now. Drink it. Drink, drink it. it. I love to see your head. Are you into that? Oh. <laughs> it takes a second. Oh, man. Good. There is smoke in my mouth. It is what delicious. Else? Anything else? I'm a dragon. I'm a dragon. I'm a dragon. I think a dragon is really cool. I want to be a dragon. It's porky. It's very a, a porky. Mm -hmm. Porky, yes. Uh, I did not get the pig roast on the nose. I got the pig roast straight in the old wow. gut. And when you said dragon, I almost killed myself. <laughs> it's it's so pig skin. Yes. It's um, oh, my God. I love this. Um, and pork this rind. And yes, pork, pork rinds. Yes, this is crazy. Oh my god! Hey, now Tim, he's pre-order the hangover food. <laughs> hey, bro, I got McDonald's on speed dial. That's right. <laughs> yeah, after a lot of these live streams, I, I go eat after them because I'm hungry. Look at sugar candy. I'm dragging best beef. No, <laughs> you know what? This is way better than Balcones Brimstone. Oh yeah, way better. Totally different product because that's a oh, that's yeah. some, that's you know that's a corn whiskey and this is a this is Scotch. <laughs> totally different. But I like this one. I like this a lot. And then they only get better from here. This is oh. really good. They so only get more to know which one this is again. This is the Vamore Small Batch. This is yeah. not an expensive whiskey, Matt. Right? <laughs> Bloody no, this thing's like. 37 40 bucks. It's not expensive. No, Floydium, I'm drinking uh, Craig Gallicky. 
I'm puppet magic dragon right now. I don't need to be. Honestly, this is I don't like it. This is honestly, and it, we're we're really warmed up, so that's playing a factor. But being warmed yeah. up, but really, that's a good really, thing. really like it. All yeah. right, let's go to okay. I want to go to Coloman Mafia Bay. All right, find that. Oh wow, so good. Oh, mm. is it forty-seven percent? This uh, it is forty-six. Uh oh, did you find the wrong one? Mm. Probably the right one. This one looks like a C. It starts with a K. Sorry, that's probably Coelho is what you have. What's that, baby? This is the one they called out earlier. This is um something something different. Is it that it? Yeah, Coloman Marklier Bay starts here. I'll show you. It starts with a K. -K. Um, Find that. Find the -K -K funky H. H. There it is. All right, Kira found it. Perfect. She's still sober enough to read. We're in a good spot. There you go. We're not sober. We talking about I'm all sober all. enough to read Matt's handwriting. That's the thing. That's ripstone. I'm impressed. With your, with your ability to read my shitty handwriting. <laughs> I told you your writing looks like mine. I think it gets See? better with scotch. No. I can't believe I like scotch. I'm nervous. I I, I am like, thrilled to death, personally. You know, I, I feel like I'm a traitor or a treasoner no. or something. A wiki connoisseur that now, hey, next time I'll send you guys like stuff from other countries. So even, even more you'll, get, you'll get Irish, you'll get about to ask. Indian, you'll get Japanese, you Taiwanese, and it'll be fun. I, is all you guys normally drink is bourbon and yeah. rye? Bourbon and rye. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, we, we will open Irish you to night. another the sleeping dragon of the whiskey world. <laughs> we need to have an Irish night. Yes, we do. So, so I'm my last name is Collins, and now yours is too, as of a couple of years ago. I'm Irish. Uh, primarily I'm, Irish, and you are actually Mexican Irish. I'm Mexican Irish. So I'm the best of all the world. Oh, yes. The worst of all the world, actually. No one likes the Mexican Irish. <laughs> I do. I do. Of course. <laughs> so we, we should have an Irish night. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. We can do an Irish night. That'd be a blast. We'll so we haven't there. had uh, a solid Irish whiskey in the bar since we started shelf tours, but we used uh, to have a couple different kinds of tealing, and we love tealing. Tealing was great. Cool. Yeah, and then. Uh, Obviously, we don't know shit about it, so we'll, we'll get into it. Yeah, we, we can do some really fun. I can send you guys all sorts of cool Irish shit. We can have an Irish night. That could be fun. I love me some tealing. Okay. As soon as I smelled this, I thought Halloween. Okay. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like you're uh, maybe a Halloween uh, bonfire or something? Uh, yes, I'm getting a okay. campfire. I'm getting a campfire. Yeah, definitely the campfire, the nice salty brine now. The, yep. so I smell sand on a beach. To oh, me, this is the most. That's a great note. Like that wet sand, the oceans, you know, the, the waves are crashing in. It's dark mm -hmm. at night. The bonfires billowing. Mm -hmm. See, so, to me, this one has the most uh, of what I would call medicinal um, iodine flavors, iodine notes to it that we've smelled so far. Iodine. Iodine. Mm -hmm. You'll find more iodine on Lefroig than on this. I think burning rubber. That's think, a good note. That's think a good wet, note. Think wet band-aids. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Actually. Yes. Unfortunately, you're very correct. This That's what, what I don't like about it. it. It's my love language. That's so, but, in good, but these are in a good way. Get on here. Your love language is wet band-aids? Oh, and iodine. Well, and, and, and bloody so socks. Bloody sock and, oh, God. <laughs> I was going to hurt your leg, you know, back in 04 with the bloody sock in the World Series. Will, are you Dexter? What the hell? So it's no. a really good thing we got together like 13 years ago when he wasn't into scotch and, you know, that love language. Mm -hmm. I was thinking like the jigsaw killer from Saw, oh where you like God. got out of the puzzle and you're like, Sarah, Sarah. And then like now all you smell is iodine and band-aids. Oh, I can't. I can't. That's what I don't like about peated scotch is the uh, rubber, burning rubber band-aid. Mm-mm. I like it. Do they all smell like this? Like, is it this what the peat smells like? Look at Mark Red. Not yeah. all peat. <laughs> Not all, old, peat. all kind. It's, it's delicious. That's what. Uh, old Man Joe, if you look in our descriptions every week, I'll have what we're drinking the whole lineup usually in there. Old Man Joe is a great, great man. He's OMJ. We love him. 
Yeah, he loves Fireball. He buys them at Bucketfuls. He does. He sometimes right. sends us pictures of empty Fireballs in a bucket. Mm -hmm. And he and I do Fireball shots whenever someone says something stupid. Like, That's funny. Sick. So this, I understand why Kira says it smells like Halloween because in our neighborhood, we always put out a fire pit in our driveway, have candy ready, but that salty brine, mm -hmm. to me, this is the first one of this entire flight, unless it is that I'm entirely drunk already, which is possible, where that salty brine is coming through with the, the campfire. Mm -hmm. This, on yep. the nose, is awesome. Yes, it is. Have you tasted it, have you tasted yeah. it yet? No, I, I I'm no, scared. I'm also scared. What if it ruins it? No, you, if you like on the nose, you're going to love the way it tastes. Not I'm necessarily. necessarily. Not necessarily. I, mean, I think you're going to love it. Just I'm Babadook it. scared. I'm really scared. Just do it. There's no palace here tonight, Bourbon Boba. Or Boba Bourbon. Violet, go huh. ahead. What, what, it what? tastes like, a, a, like when you burn leaves. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I am perplexed. And you're you're perplexed? I'm and I perplexed. don't know why I would want to have that in my mouth, but it's not horrible. But it's good. It's it's all those weird, gross things when they when you when you talk about them, but they taste so good together. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. I'm wrong. confused. I literally am questioning my entire being right now. <laughs> I did too I when I first it. man. I was like, I don't know if I love this or hate this. I loved it from first sip. I've loved it. Love Lafroy, and that was the gateway yeah. drug to scotch. This is weird. This is I this is trippy. And it's it is literally like so on a personal note. So I'm a child of the 90s. I'm 42 years old. I'm a child of the 90s. You're a child of the 80s. I'm a child of the 70s. I'm 42 years old. And um the first time that I ever listened to Pearl Jam, obviously very popular time I was going to high school. I remember listening sure. to, uh, I actually listened to the album Versus before I listened to 10. And I remember listening to the entire cassette tape, which you guys yeah. can appreciate. And um, finishing it, really like, I, right, right. And I, and I listened to it, and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if I like it or if I hate it. I cannot tell. And I listened to it two or three more times, and I was like, oh, wow, I really like this. That is this. This is, I don't know. I might love it. I might hate it. Did you say you're 47? I, well, I, if I did, I meant 42. Okay, he that's good. 40. He said 42. I was like, whoa, dude, I'm so confused. I cannot let her know I'm actually 47. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What? You got yeah, some for me? I say this is it. It's I. Is this I I I I like if someone shanks their M8 after they're getting a gallon of buck fast? Oscar, thanks, Swami. Appreciate it. Here, Swami. What I want to know is what you think of it. Two days from now, yeah. Sure. Without, without oh, breaking out here from Nick the Greek beforehand, right? That's fair. Don't 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 pregame. Just yeah, David and Kira have been champs tonight. Viva la weirdos! Thanks, Nick. Appreciate you, Nick. <laughs> Cheers. Break so handsome, no one could handle him. So handsome, he got kicked out of Greece. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on to Coila Twelve Year. Let's do that one next. Based on the, the four we have next, I know what this one is. God, you smell bad. Don't I, though? <laughs> smells wonderful. Stop I do get that, Sarah, because I'm breathing my own breath. And I'm like, ugh. He's breathing in my direction, and it's just. <laughs> oh, smells so good. Cool. All right, so. -A -L. It, starts, it ends with the A. Is this one? This one? Okay, I think we found it. C-O-A-L. Okay. Okay, yeah. C O A L. Is that what you got, you got there? Yeah. C O A L. Yeah, that's it. I L A. Yeah, we got it. It looks terrible with handwriting. I mean, it's just tiny. This is not even ripped correctly. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this little hey. guy. It's all half. I got that thing. I had your box filled, packed, and put out in FedEx. It took me a few hours. <laughs> but I got it packed and wrapped up in like 30 minutes because I had to make FedEx and it got there just as the truck was getting loaded. So you got it you, worked out perfect. You nailed it because you were all right. So you and I are texting back and forth and you're like, I'm gonna send you some scotch. Oh. And I'm thinking I'm, I'm like looking at the calendar, looking at our, at our date, and I'm like, there's no way Matt pulls this off. It was crazy how fast you did that. And it got there a day early, so even it better. Did. Yeah. We can pull that off fast, but we still have a Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> getting there. Give me another week. 
I couldn't help it. Sorry. I've been here and giving another week since October. I have. Uh, I'm busy, oh. man. We'll get there. Hey, look, the thing that's coming, when we can announce the next big thing that's coming, that's what really matters. I, I agree. I agree. That's what my focus is at the moment is that. Well, the thing that you guys are going to see coming here in the next, hopefully, the next few weeks is going to be pretty freaking epic and amazing, which you guys are about to find out. I'm excited. It's going it to blow your freaking minds. It's probably uh, a video game. It's a Whiskey Crusaders video game. What the That's heck? totally it. Is. Matt, just a little insider real quick. Uh, Sarah is smelling the liqueur for this week. Mm. Yeah, I didn't tape with them the three they taped yesterday. Okay. I wasn't feeling but you great. Know what? Taste it, Sarah. It's totally different. Than, like me, and Will, the same reaction to the nose. Taste it. And see what you think. The, the nose is this the nose is so awful. But the, the nose is not good. It's got a it's got a very gin nose to it. Gin, yeah. Ooh. Gin. Gin is a blast from my past, Sarah. I hey. didn't drink, I didn't drink much in my twenties, and when in my thirties I started drinking, it was gin. We can do a gin stream. I like gin. No, 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 no. It's like a new make, doesn't it? It tastes like a new make. I mean, you will do it then. I love gin. Gin's delicious. No, I'll do it. It's like a new David, make. you will not. And gin. And gin. And a little bit of it. It's got a little bit of that floral juniper. All right, what do you guys think of like your butt. This is not smelling my butt. I wish my butt smelled like this. Mm. <laughs> well, he put some milk in the butt. And Ashy was like, butt. hey, you're up. <laughs> okay, this is. A butt. Band aid butt. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting like a like a hard candy. Okay. Maybe a a, a tit of floral, but not a ton of floral. Okay. <laughs> a hard candy. What? I'm but I'm running out of gas because I am drunk. Kira, what do you got? I already told you. You said it's my butt. I said you had bacon in your butt. This is not bacon in anyone's butt. <laughs> <laughs> well, that comes with the art bag in just a moment. Ew. I'm gonna drink it. All right. <laughs> so you're just gonna get drunk for the rest of the stream, but that's okay, right? That's fine. Oh, yeah. I'm entertained. It's great. We don't have much longer. We got three more whiskeys and yeah. uh and you a have three, I got friggin' seven. You have five, sweetie. Five. You yeah, well, only have three. Oh. At least you took tomorrow off. We did. There you go, Sarah. And I did. we you have, have to get up time. at five ten in the morning. Are you serious? Five five fifty. We're in, oh, it's yeah. too early. So it's midnight here. What time is it over there? In Texas? 11. 11. Oh. I thought it would be. Yeah. 10 till 6 earlier. every day, even after Monday. Mm. <laughs> even after 30 whiskeys. 30 whiskeys. So this is okay. Okay. Do you like it a little better? Cool. I wouldn't give it to my friend. They got serious palate fatigue, Matt. That's yeah, okay. we're gonna keep going. It's fine. Yeah. Tim's telling you to put the pizza in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go with let's go with Lagavulin sixteen. So I actually, all right, I know we're moving on past whatever this was. I like it, but I think you're right. I think fatigue is setting in and drunkenness, both. But this I'm is actually, drunk. I like it a lot. I do. It means more practice. That's what I'm telling. You. We'll, we'll come back. More practice. More Boy. more 17 whiskeys in a night. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's okay. Matt, is yes. this one 43%? This one's 43, yeah. Okay. Here comes the sun. Do it, do it. Here comes the sun. Oh, <laughs> it's gosh. It's it's I'm a huge Beatles fan. Oh, Thank you. Were. Oh, you're a huge gin fan. Excellent. Gin is great. I have lots of gins. I'm totally up for gin or vodka streams at some point. Who are you talking to? Anyone that <laughs> wants to listen. I'll do gin. I was just curious you said they're a huge gin fan. Yeah, well, this is uh, old man Joe says he's a big gin fan. I said, oh, I, gotcha. I, I, I love gin. Gotcha. I like good vodka. There's a lot of shitty <laughs> vodka. Too. There's a lot of good vodka. You can eat that out. Nice pressure. Like she's singing Beatles. I said I'm a big Beatles Beatles fan, and then you're like, "Yay, gin!" So, uh, well, the Beatles do drink gin. They they actually also really enjoy Jack Daniels. I don't know. There's only two left, so it's true. I'm gonna jack this up. I haven't asked them. Put it up, put it up, mud. Oh my god. <laughs> what uh? What if anything can you find on the nose on this one? Peanut butter. Peanut, Peanut butter. butter. 
And a little bit of kitty litter. Kitty, <laughs> kitty litter and peanut butter. But wait, no, it matters. Is it used or unused? Nick, this, you've never had this one? Nick, seriously? You've never had this? <sighs> so I, smell. So I know you guys I think it's been around a long time. Just send me an email. I'll, I'll send you a sample of it. For real, man. You've been around a long time. Just send me an email. I'll, I'll send you a sample. I wish we would have gotten in this earlier because I think it has a really nice nose on it. It does. It's almost like a, a sweet peat. Is that correct? Right? Exactly right. No, you're right. You're exactly yeah. you're getting the right notes. Yeah. Dude, I think I like scotch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is caramel yeah. and butterscotch plus that smoke. Like, you're welcome. You must you must uh, up your whiskey budget now. I know, right? I mean, at least we have a Patreon, right? Where's the pay right. pay patron? <laughs> <For real. laughs> Fucking for real. <laughs> See? Matt? <laughs> Jake Wallen just walked by. Jake oh. Wallen does stink, sugar kitty. She smells bad. Yeah. You smell bad. We're talking about people <laughs> smell bad. I just need to give her a bath. So, I, I, again, I'm fatigued. I'm getting sweet pee. I want to go in for a taste. Do it. Right. Say it. Too hot. Too cool. I just dropped them on Patreon. <laughs> I just dropped them on Patreon. <laughs> Who doesn't want me to be drunk? Benny, <laughs> Benny, I'm texting you later, and guess what? You're not gonna like it. <laughs> okay, so this, I, I'm, I'm, I'm spent. I am, but this Shut is up. really. What is that? Is there a a Wookie in there? Is there an Ewok? No, right, that's that's we'll... that's Matt's child. Okay. Oh, I thought that was an animal. Matt, I didn't even know it was Matt you were muted. <laughs> Good. Shut that shit down. Sorry, I, I, I had to shut it off. So, People again, hey, that honey. sound is really fun. What are you doing, sweetie? Struggling to pull anything off outside of I really enjoy it. You know what? <laughs> we call that a win. Yeah. I, it's good. I yeah, said it over two I expect you to get cool. good, not good, and that's about all we're going to get. And that's yeah, good at this stage in the evening, a thumbs up or thumbs down is pretty much uh, where I stand. So. so, this is a thumbs up. I am getting Will. I think I'm getting. That it's older. Uh, you can't fake that funk on the age, right? It, right. I, sweet peat is predominant. Um, I don't. I don't know. It, it has a long finish. It's still going. Yeah, I really good. like this. The next, the next uh, three that we're doing, or these last four. I don't know if it's last three or last four that we're doing are all going to be just really big, really long finishes, uh, and they're just going to get bigger and more right. as we go. Let's, okay. What are your last four that I've got in front of you say? I have no idea. <laughs> so, Matt, my last... All right, let's, let's go with the Ardbeg 10. I was going to say, Matt, I have Ardbeg, I have Port Charlotte, I assume that you sent them, and I have Lefroy left. and That's what I have left. That's what I've got left, so I'm making sure we got... Then, I have, then they have the reward pour. Yeah, ah. Bring the fresh one. All right, so this is Ardbeg 10, mm -hmm. if that's a 10. 46%, yep. right? Yep. That's it. <laughs> Sugar Kitty says to not put cats in water. I actually give my cats baths. I gave, like my, I gave two of mine a bath last, last weekend. Yep. Yeah, they like it. My cat likes it. Well, they don't. But, well, the one that gets into the shower with me, she didn't like it. <gasps> she got in the shower. Yeah. She gets in the shower all the time. Stuff. Uh, too pop, too cool. All right, too pop, too cool has an amazing finish. The 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 one. All right, I haven't even I haven't even noticed this one yet. The one we just finished, the finish is still going. Yeah, that's that. Like, yeah, Vanda has got a really good finish on it. Oh my god! So oh. What you just had was uh, that's the Nick Offerman whiskey, right? Like that's what that's the brand that he's been supporting his entire life. Mm -hmm. Nick, uh, wait, you love Nick Offerman. Oh, um, I, next time I can send you Nick Offerman, who actually got to us from our buddy Eric Evans, and also sent us that. Nice. Wait, you oh. know Nick Offerman? Well, no. we know no, his no. model Scotch. Oh. Right, but know him himself. No, we don't know it, Nick. Dude, if I didn't know all the whiskey people, but we do not know Nick Offerman. You know Duke Silver? <laughs> his sexy sax? Yes. <laughs> oh. Yes. Sure. Sure. Is the distillery that Leslie sent uh, him to in Parks and Rec. 
he it's also the distillery that he actually has a vested interest in. He actually bought quite a bit yeah. of shares in it. Wow, uh, that is very cool. Because we it, love Parks and Rec. It does smell like a sexy man. It does. Mm -hmm. A Duke Silver. What he drank anytime he was drinking. Right. This is what he poured for Leslie. That 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 one that we just had. Yeah. So, Except for the wow. six, six. So good. Ridiculously good. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, so, there's new Nick Offerman finishing Snoutcast this year. I'm excited. Oh, I love that show. All right. So to me, <laughs> this one is the most meaty of any of the ones that we've had. Oh, so I love I love that meat. Right, dude? <laughs> this is bacon and pork and brine. Uh, this is uh, a little bit of ham. Okay. Yeah, I get all that pig right here. Yeah, they, this one... Again, we don't know what to compare it to, but this is not as robust as a brimstone, but in the same ballpark. Yeah, this is their basic offer now. If I gave you like Coravecian, yeah, then I'm gonna that then you're gonna get really robust. Yeah, it, it, they can get very, very meaty. Very meaty. Oh, <laughs> they get really good. You, you tasted the sweet meat. Already? I did. It's our. It's a sweet meat. It's a little too yeah, sweet. I put a little too much sugar on that. Is like a glazed ham? No. Mm -hmm. Here's a snake too. Yes, you do, Clifton. Yes, you do. <sighs> Clifton loves the meat. <laughs> Clifton. Clifton. Clifton loves the meat. Clifton, we still got to do a live with you, buddy. But we're, you're on the list. You're on the list. We had to get to Whiskey Crusaders first. You're on the list. Ooh, Black Adder is so good. Oh, I love Black Adder. <laughs> it's got that chunks of the actual cask in there. So good. Ew. Who? Holy Balls, what is this? What That's are we drinking? Art Ben 10. Oh my god, do you like it? <laughs> this is holy shit and balls. No one's pooping on your balls, <laughs> ass in a glass. Yes, <laughs> this is really good. Dear god, we have a peat lover. Oh, oh my yeah. lord. So there is actually a cult of Ardbeg, um, people that praise this whiskey above all others. So I gotta lean away from you. Yeah, I can understand why. Did I just join a cult? Is, am I in Scientology? Did I join a cult? <laughs> Someone give me Leah Remini immediately. I need her right now. I'm in the cult. This is this is not as um, invasive as Scientology, nor as expensive. Hey, John. Uh, these bottles range from 40 to 90, so you're okay. <laughs> you're fine, David. <laughs> you're in the good cult. I'm in the good cult. That's okay. <laughs> Scientology. That's uh, funny. It is funny. Did I get the name right, Leah Remini? Yeah. Yeah, yeah she's amazing. Leah. 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 Great. Leah Remini, she saved us from our deaths. Are you singing a Leah Remini song? <laughs> yeah. Well, sing it louder so the folks at home can. I hear. cannot, because I smell like garbage. You smell like. I smell like burning garbage right now. I smell like it's mm -hmm. horrible. I understand why Sarah does not want to heavy make out with Will after these because it is a little bit of a a funky pig smell. There isn't even like lightly making out. There's like, understand? don't breathe on me. Or if my I wife do. loves this shit and finds it dead sexy. Whoa, whoa. Good for you. He thinks that Oxymore, which I do not <laughs> give you, I will, now that you like Pete, I will give you Oxymore next time. Oxymore is the greatest whiskey ever made as far as she's concerned. Ooh. Oxymore is by far the highest PPM in the world. So next time I have you guys pour is Lafroid Quarter Cask, 48%. You gonna find that? Is this our ending yet? This is the do a fresh class. Do what? Yeah, that one's not finished. This should, this should be our ending, right? Uh, this should be one or two for Charlotte still. Okay. And then they've got a no, then they have a reward pour after it. A war pour? No, a reward pour. It's different oh. than a war. <laughs> I was like, war. We're going to war with the Whiskey Crusaders. <laughs> no, not today. Yes, we will go to war over Pete. It'll be amazing. With the wooden sword. <laughs> All right, you got it? Here we go. Whatever this oh, is. Oh, I am burning sugar cane. Ooh, are you yeah. burning a rainforest? Yeah. No. That, that's inappropriate. I would Karen. never. It's not the 90s. <laughs> you can't burn down rainforests <laughs> anymore like you put in the 90s. Ah. Uh, 
Too soon? Yes. No one loves to remember the 90s, David. And music was okay. <laughs> yeah, a lot of good <laughs> movies. The 80s movies are probably better, but also American pa American Pie came out in the 90s. Pretty fucking great movie last time I checked. Very funny. Very funny. Also, South Park movie, longer, you know, the longer uncut version, also came out. Also a great movie. Did you get Carter for the theater? Fantastic. What I they just think that? How can they go wrong? Benny has five scotches. <laughs> hey, Benny, learn how to type. Matt, what did you pour me? Quarter cask? I think quarter cask. Scotches. Okay. Did he? So, so this one, guys, is um, Lafroig. So it's going to be a bigger, uh, big PD thing. But this was aged in casks that were smaller in size. I want to say, what, 15 probably gallon would be quarter cask? Okay. Is it very oily to you or is it just to me right now? Because it's like it 48% non-show filtered. It's much more oily. Yeah. It's oily. oil. You're nailing it. I'm freaking amazing. You're Fred Minikin. No, I'm Kira doing it. You're Kira You're doing it. Mm -hmm. so, thanks, John Bam. No. Benny says I think it was spelled correctly. Fine, Ben. Yeah. It was Ben. You spelled it correctly, buddy. It's spelled scotches. Really? Did you tried the mm -hmm. Oxford 19 that the Oct you tried the Ardbeg 19? Oil in my mouth. So like water. Interesting. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go first on this one. Do it. So far, I'm not a fan of this. Mm -hmm. I can understand that. This is uh, this is the most medicinal iodine one of all of them. That's why I said it from for second to last. Yeah, to me, Lafroy has a very distinct. Um, it, 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 I agree with Matt. An iodine kind of peat note to it. Hmm. I'll do it once, but I might think about it the next time. Yeah. Okay. There's a friend along. You got a dump glass. It's all good. Yeah, if it's if, if if we call if you don't like one of the eight, I'm not disappointed. Oh, for real. Yeah, so right. so far the, the peanut stuff has been awesome. That was just oil, like a this one's just real different, not a huge yes, fan. They're just glad they had you at Ardbeg. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I joined that cult instantly. <laughs> I did too. Uh the first time I tasted it, I joined that cult. And I bought a lot of bottles of them after joining that cult. Um, yeah. I, I, I have said in the past it's my favorite of the, uh, the cults. It's my favorite cult. Though. I it, mean, yeah, it's my favorite cult for sure. But I think I like Port Charlotte a little bit more than I like Ardbeg. But yeah, the last one there should be your Port Charlotte and then your Reward Pour. Oh. So Okay. So there's two of, uh, oh, here. This one says reward pour, and this one's yeah. Okay. All right. So do all scotches come in a box? For the most part, yes. They come in oh. a box or a canister. It's just it's just wondering. In my house, too. Let's put it that. My four roses doesn't come in a box, so I was just wondering. The cheap ones don't. Oh, okay. It works. Yeah, okay, she's right. If you buy the crappy blends that cost like $14, they do not come in a box. They also taste like right. shit. But the $60 bottles of scotch will, you know, come in a tin. And you, like, yes. when you display them, like on your shelves and stuff, you keep them in the box? I keep them in the box, correct. Yeah, okay. I just didn't know I'm what that is. I keep the foil and everything. Comes to to me, it's right? part of the advertising. It's part of uh, it's part of the, the the show. It's part of what it is. So I leave all the packaging with it. Okay. Yeah, we take pictures for our reviews. We keep all. We have the canisters and the pictures. Oh, there. okay. Well, I I just didn't know like if I should if I ever buy a scotch, should I keep, keep it in the box? box? Yeah, I oh, keep the box. A lot of times, also a lot of the information's on the box, only not on the bottle of whiskey. Okay. The the other thing about the boxes are is is that it keeps your whiskey darker. Yep. Yeah, no light gets in. No light comes in when it's in a box. Mm, I want to take them down a, a compass box journey. I do too. Yeah. It's so much fun. All right, so we have to take a, a quick a quick commercial break because our, our 10, almost 11-year-old cannot go to bed without a kiss goodnight. So right, we're going to go. 11-year-old goodnight. We're going to talk about what we have coming out this week. Uh, you have fun. <laughs> Come right back in. You got it, ma'am. I'll be right back. Yeah. All right. All right, so 
Tonight has been a blast. We got one, we'll have finish up with the Port Charlotte and then the reward pour for them. Tomorrow we have coming out the Sazanac, which I'm very excited that me and Will reviewed. Uh, that if you guys are big fans of Outlander, which uh, I, me and my wife certainly are, we love Outlander. Uh, in fact, uh, it's a star show, but this week, season four came out. Also, Men in Kilts will be out here in a couple of weeks on February 14th, with, uh, with of course, with Sam Hewing and Graham McTavish. Uh, and they have the Clans, the, their uh, show, their uh, book is also coming out. But anyway, they have this awesome scotch called the Sazanac, and it's a blended scotch made by Loch Lomond, and it's fan freaking tastic. I'm very, very excited about this as a fan of that. And so, uh, yeah, that comes out. And then also we're having the Habiki Blender's Choice, which is a Japanese-only release that also is fantastic that can be coming out this week. And then come on Saturday, this really cool, interesting thing called LeBlanc, which is a uh, Caraca something. I don't know. I can't remember how to spell the word. It's some kind of Bra special Brazilian drink. Apparently, we found it's the third most consumed liquor in the world. And they consume 99% of it in Brazil alone. And 1.3 billion liters are made a year, which is insanity. So some really cool shit coming up. Next week, Adam Harris will be here uh, from Little Book. So we'll be doing all four Little Books next week. So that should be a lot of fun. And kind of boring. <laughs> kind of boring. I'm going to beat you. <laughs> we, got four? we got four whiskeys? Come on. Fine. Man. I'm so sorry. You only have four next week. Oh, come on. So man. hopefully after that, so we'll be rescheduling a Matt from ADHD whiskey uh, in the next couple of weeks. So have him on. And we'll also do a ridiculous amount of probably world whiskeys to test his palate as the best whiskey in the world. So I'm going to test him with other whiskeys besides bourbon and rye because, you know, just oh, yeah, bourbon right? and rye. I want to see if he really is the world's best whiskey taster. So I'm going to put some really big tests to Matt. And it's going to be a really fun blind with him. <laughs> it's going to be I, amazing. I will definitely tune in for that because I know – like I talked, I I saw Matt explain, you know, that the the world best tasting whiskey, whatever that was, that I can't speak anymore because I'm drunk. Uh, they didn't do a lot of scotch, and uh, he he washed everything, and he knew they kind of like lean towards. Is it doers or doers? Doers. 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 They lean towards doers. That's how he got in, and whatever else he he, he did his research. But right. I would love to see you guys put him through the gambit that you put us through tonight. Because oh, I'm, going to, I'm going to put him through a major gambit. It's yes. going to be a blast. This has been awesome. We're gonna. I'm going to really throw him through all sorts of interesting things that night. I'm going to go into my deep dive deep into my world collection of other really strange uh, countries that have whiskeys as well that evening. It's going to be a lot. Serious fun. box diving going on over there. That's right. Yes, yes, it will be. All right. So listen, guys, to the Port Charlotte ten year mm -hmm. from Brooklyn. All right, here we go. Am I smelling it now? Yeah. Okay. So we just poured, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Sorry, I poured a little too much in mine. You're I'll fine. Take a sip. We're fine. I smell like fresh cut grass. Okay. okay. I'm actually getting a little bit of like the public pool. Oh. Also, yeah, agree on that. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Huh. That's really sweet. Okay. I'm so confused on how like a sweet scotch is compared to like the bourbons that we drink. This is just it, it is funny how you especially with peat in there, and then you find all this really sweet candied notes behind the peat. It's really wild how they do that. Yeah. Yes. Because it's so rich and dark and deep, but yet there's like this candy butterscotch kind of floating along in there as well. Uh -huh. yep. Yeah. It's like a so word of original. Covered in soot and ash. Yes, exactly. So, so it could be the blood alcohol level. This one's confusing to me, <laughs> but I, I, I don't dislike it. I don't dislike it. The last one was confusing dislike. Yeah, I'm going to send you next. I'm going to send you some different Lefroigs to see if you like a different kind than the quarter cask. Yeah. yeah. I would say this. Take the, the last four that we just did, and with a fresh palate, Blind yourself with those four. Okay. This should be very interesting to see how that goes. Because those are the, the, the those are the Isla Big Four. Okay. Uh, yeah. And and those are the the biggest and the heaviest and the most peated of what Matt sent you. So, kind of, I would I would go back through tomorrow and taste the last four, just kind of independently and back to back, and see what you like and what you don't. Uh, that way, with a fresh palate. I mean, especially with us having tomorrow off. 
Indeed. There you go. See? Or hell, try all try all eight of the Islas that are in there. They could be fun. What is right. this? Thanks. So you've what's... made it through all of them. So the reward pour is there for you. So I'm going to have you – I want Ooh. you to pour your reward pour and see what you guys think of it. All right. My mouth is full of oil. You just gave me a glass that still has something in it from your last drink. Well, then give me your glass that has something in it. <laughs> Here, get some paper towels. We don't want to, the reward pour has got to be fresh. It yes, it does. It does need to. All right. Yeah, you, you need a clean blend, Karen, for that one. Mm. Yep. <sighs> this blend smells delicious, by the way. All right. This one still has a lot. Find a couple that don't have a lot in it. Ooh, okay. it does. Okay. I'm going to finish this one, and then you do this with one, and I'll do it with one. All right, I'm gonna grab, go grab what it is, Ooh. you guys. What you think of it? La, 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 la. I'm excited for whatever it is. I probably won't appreciate it as much as I should, being this far in, but I am a little bit of it and save the rest for later. Then that's a great thought. Great thought. I'm a Barbie girl. Go ahead, sing it. <laughs> I'm a Barbie girl <laughs> in a Barbie world. <laughs> It's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So these okay. are the two clean ones. Fantastic because I'm plastic. <laughs> All right. Let me, let me do it. Yes. So this is the reward pour. Correct. All right. I'm not going to overdo it because I want to try it tomorrow when I'm not so slammered. Good one. I'm also going to cleanse my palate with both uh, Spindrift, Sparkling Lemon Water, and PBR. They are in. I'm just saying Spindrift. I don't know how to spell it. D-I-N. Oh, there it is. Ooh, I am burning somebody because it is uh, midsummer. Ooh, holy God. A bear might be in there. What are they drinking? A special <laughs> secret that. surprise. For real, this is like straight up midsummer burn. So, so I'm getting something that almost feels like a dark fruit or a cherry. Oh, David. <laughs> I know. She gets weird and horny late in the night. Will, I apologize. <laughs> Do not. It gets real oh, weird. David. Thank you for this part. Let's file it. Mm. So before you say anything, okay, it is dark fruit, and but almost I still feel like it's a scotch, but a dark fruit scotch. I could be wrong. Taste it because as soon as you taste it, you'll know what I'm gonna say. Okay. Happy orange night, Carlos Mech. Here. Cheers. Oh, ready? Wow. That's different. All right, this is drama mean, not drama mean, a diamond tap. No, it's not. With a little bit of smoke in it. No, it's liquid not. smoke. The mm. grip. Yeah, the grape diamond tap from back in the day. Well, they still make that shit. Oh, they do? Mm -hmm. I, I don't buy it. Any, I never buy it because it was so friggin' nasty. But this is pretty good, honestly. It's not like a bad diamond tap. Oh, I, have, I, have, I haven't bought it, but I've seen it on the shelf and been like, nope, not mm -hmm. giving them that shit. Nope, mm -hmm. <laughs> so, 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 is it weird? Away. <laughs> is it weird that I feel like the nose has changed after I took a sip? I don't know. Is it? Is that a weird thing? Shut the fuck up. Hey, hey, Will says that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so shut up. <laughs> Sorry. He was not muted for that. Sorry. I unmuted him. He didn't know. It's all, all right. So all right. So, so there is, <laughs> I smelled something different before I took a sip. Now that I've taken a sip and coming back, it's weird. I'm getting a hint. Of vinegar. Interesting. What? Really? Yeah. Just a hint. Now, I will tell you that your palates are completely blown. Yes, they are. There's there's no okay. coming back from Ardbeg and, and Lafroig. And like, there's just, you can't, you can't undo what we did to your palate tonight. So even, even with this, even with that, sir, it's just not possible to undo what Matt just kind of destroyed in your palate. It just, it, it does feel like I'm coated. My mouth is like coated still. Yes. Oily. With ash. Yeah. 
Yes, to oh, me, you're... it's it's a coating of ash and soot. You're gonna wake up tomorrow, palate. and the first time you burp, you're gonna you're gonna taste smoke. Blech. Yeah. Mm -hmm. even so what after, do you do? Even after you brush your Enjoy teeth, Enjoy it. Smile. The fuck you mean? What do you do? I don't drink it. So <laughs> I, know. I mean, like, so it's like still midnight, right? And you still want the party going. What do you What do you do if you can't? Keep on drinking me. You you go like this: a bourbon rinse. You take a really high proof bourbon. Oh. And you put it in your gullet. Will, 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 will. Will it? Rinse it. Frank the tank. Do Frank a little gargle. Two motor potions. And then you can kiss your wife again. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll drink more pee. I'll tell you what your real score was. What was it? It's an E.H. Terrell, e. Taylor single barrel, but it's a single barrel. It's a pick. Ooh. It's a pick from Goody Goody Liquor, which is here wow. in Texas. This is one of the best E.H. Terrells I've ever had. That's good. Oh, enjoy, oh. enjoy that. On so a that's why I could save it for you can taste it on a fresh palate. Yes. Oh. So we, we do have half a vial left. We were conservative on the pour, but oh, I will what? say this. We have actually never had any E.H. Taylor. That's our very first E.H. Awesome. E. Taylor ever. Wow. Wow. Gave it to okay. Well, pal. Good okay. job. Man. I can solve that problem too. <laughs> no, it's really good. I. It's very yeah, good. After all that, it's just fun to see what I, I am getting a still, okay, Even though mm -hmm. I know it's E.H. Taylor and it's a, a, a pick, I am still getting this really weird light vinegar note on the nose. And then everything yeah, else that feels different. But I, I know I'm also blasted. So that's part yeah. of it. Yeah. <laughs> Totally. All right. Well, do you guys have anything coming out uh, on your channel, Shelf Turds, that we need to know about and that our audience needs to know about? That's, that's very nice. So I would say um, end of this week, we have our second recorded blind from Will Henderson. We had a lot of fun with it. Um, I, I don't want to ruin all the jokes, but no. it, it was very fun. It should be coming out Thursday or Friday of this week once I put the final touches on it. It's like a 25 minute episode. It's, I don't know, if you guys have ever seen one of our recorded blinds, it gets zany and weird and we get super trashed. It's a lot of fun. And then um, after that, uh, maybe another video or two, but we, we're joining uh, Mash and Drum and Lance from Whiskey Tornado on Mash and Drum's channel. I think it's February the 10th that we're on with them to celebrate that uh, Whiskey, Whiskey Tornado and Shelf Turds both hit a thousand subs on the same night. Nice. So, a very, very cool, very awesome. I don't know why YouTube likes us, but they apparently do. <laughs> we were so worried they weren't going to allow they us to monetize. Choose, man. And they do <laughs> pick and choose. We, we feel like we got a lazy reviewer. Hey, we you know, we submitted for monetization know. and we were monetized in 24 hours. They're so like, we, yeah, whatever. We feel like somebody. Was weeks. Jesus. So, yeah, it took oh, us weeks. We're going to get so say. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us. We had a lot of fun tonight. Uh, it was good. It was awesome. You. Uh, I'm happy that you enjoyed a lot of the scotches that Matt sent you. Uh, next time you come on, it'll be even better, I promise. <laughs> I'm yeah. excited. I am honestly very surprised at how well or how much I liked these scotches. I was nervous. I was actually sick earlier. I think maybe this cured me. See? I'm not even joking. Yeah. The water of light fixed you again. Sterilizing from the inside out. That's right. Yeah. It did. All right. We got the same great live stream. Thanks, Vegas Art. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you very much. much. And Thank I think that's a pretty good place to end it because I got to pee really, really bad. Right. Right. I hope you guys have a good round. I'll talk to you guys afterward here. And uh, thanks, everybody. We'll see you guys next week for a little book, all four chapters. All right. Now, everybody, cheers. Everybody. Cheers, everybody.